Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Hey, that dick of fat of hello, hello. Hello. What the f- uh, <laughs> Excuse me? Hmm? Excuse me? No, no. Care to, care to repeat that? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Did you? Did you? Hmm? Alrighty, what's up, gamers? Yo. Are we still on the starting student screen? Never mind. New overlay? My fav Who dis? My new, new favorite overlay. thing. My new yeah. favorite thing is Dutch putting his thumb to say, are we ready? And I can't fucking see it because of his blurry background. I'm <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, shit, that's still turned on from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah that's like, me. I was like, he did that yesterday. At least you want people sessions. complaining about my unmade bed or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Dutch, just put your middle finger up so it looks like you sent it. it. No, right, it's right, 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 whatever. Yeah. Uh, but we have a new overlay, uh, oh, courtesy of, uh, of of Ethan. He um, decided it was time for a bit of a fresh look, given that we're about to go on like a you know like a nautical sea arc to have some overlays to kind of represent that. And we have a guest. Shatter's here, guys. Me. Yo. We. Don't be too excited, guys. Okay, long see how time. It is. Literally dancing. What? what do you mean? Long time listener, first I... time caller. Long time <laughs> listener, first time caller. Shatter has been on a uh, channel before in, in, in some one shots and, and whatnot, but um, first time on the. Dude, get fucked, Abby. Loser. Oh, um, <laughs> bad. Um, but um, first time in the main campaign. Welcome, yeah. welcome, OG. OG is going to be here for the foreseeable future, like pretty much the entirety of uh, North School Arc, unless, unless okay. in game unless decides like, otherwise. Dot, dot, dot. But we'll, we'll see about that. So for the next three years, unless we kill him, unless you guys kill him, yeah, exactly. Um, so we're going to get into uh, like, obviously the overlay already says what his character is and all that, but you know, whatever. Um, so we're going to get introduced to Shadow's character uh, in a moment. But before we start with today. Um, any announcements? Anything anyone has to to say or share with the class? Yeah. yeah. Um. Yesterday we had session two of the Call of the Nether Deep campaign, where I take the DM chair and Dutch gets to play. Uh, it was a good time, and the VOD is already um just edited and up on YouTube. Uh, so if you missed oh, yeah. it, you can check it out. I put the link in the chat. And session three, we already have the next date, less than a week. Friday. Dutch Friday, and baby. Bounty are being a champs and staying up till 3 a.m. so we can play because holy fuck, our particular group <clears> has <throat> the biggest nightmare of scheduling for August and September because of all the various like weddings, ren fairs, events, yeah, family. It was either it was either me and Bounty sacrifice some like sleep on Friday nights to play. And we do shorter or, or, sessions. Or it was like next session would be like the end of September or some shit. So we were like, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll, like two months. Oh we'll, we'll sacrifice some 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 Friday evening. Uh, you know, it's Friday, so we'll we're starting at like midnight yeah. for us or whatever. But you know, it is what it is. We get to play so, DVD, so fuck episode it. one and two are on YouTube, and if you want to watch our session three <laughs> on Friday at seven p.m. Eastern time, then you can catch up on the YouTube. Hell yeah! Uh, session was fun. Little little tease. Uh, the first real combat happened, and boy, it was a doozy. So check it out yep. on, on the YouTube. It was a fucking doozy. Um, I also have kind of have an announcement, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna fucking be moving my setup tomorrow to go dog sitting at my parents' place for the next two mm. weeks. Woo. So next DS will be from my parents' place, but uh, it, it, it you know DS will continue as 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 normal. Um, I won't be here next week. Sorry. Remember. I won't be here next week. That's fine. I just remembered. Okay, Go that's on. fine. So. Uh, also, during discourse this week, we realized that our one-year anniversary of this campaign is coming up uh, in two weeks. So that's pretty crazy as well. Uh, so that's awesome. And then in September, we have our four-year anniversary of doing Dungeon Select as a whole. Which is also epic, and I guess I can announce it now. Uh, for the one year, yeah. for the for the one year anniversary, we'll just do DS as normal. Uh, but for the four year anniversary of Dungeon Select uh, proper, we're gonna run a special one shot, bringing back the campaign one characters to resolve some of their unresolved plot points. Uh, I won't reveal what it is exactly we're doing just yet, but uh, it's gonna be exciting just to bring back the old ga the Heroes of Exile for another for another bout and uh, do some shit that they have still have to resolve or you know would have, would have resolved post campaign. So that's going to be fun and interesting to switch it up a little bit. Uh other than that, um obviously 
as always, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. And um, we'll have discourse this week. Uh, real quick, are we doing um, Divinity tomorrow? Boys? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Comes yeah. Up from Duke. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. So Divinity tomorrow. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> We're getting, we're getting towards, uh, we're definitely uh, making progress in that game as well. So that's, uh, it's gonna be good. We um, do say that every week. Yeah, but it's a long game. But like, we're we're getting we're getting through the thick of the the like main plot and all that shit. And it's uh, it's a good ass fucking time. Um, other than that, I'm out of announcements. I think so. Unless anyone else has anything that they want to share. Uh, very oh, small little announcement. Yeah, go for it. Uh, because we are with D&D players here. I, uh, over the last week, I've been on a separate Instagram page. I've been releasing snippets of a new logo for a new Ooh. channel I'm going to start. Oh. So the full logo was released yesterday. Uh, so it's going to be called the Raven's Tavern. It will be more of a D&D writing channel. So we'll oh, be uh, shit. doing a lot of D&D writing on that channel. Still working on an overlay, but uh, that is uh, a little nothing that is uh, coming... Uh, from me. Do you have a? Uh, do you have some links that you want to drop in chat? Yes, yeah, so, throw a link. Uh, uh, let me just quickly VIP you, oh, and Christ. then you should be able to just drop links I with can... it. I actually, you're a sub, so you should be fine. So you can just drop links and. I can have a little look. Do your thing if you want to. More because yeah, I, it, know, awesome. I know myself. I've been trying to finally finish the one shot I already wrote, but swap it up. Um, and if I don't have, and if I don't stream it, I will never do it. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do some things different, and then. Uh... Oh, it still deleted his. Oh yeah. fuck! Okay, hold on. Um, let me just oh, well. VIP you real I'm quick. Just... I mean, I'm very important so sometimes. Uh, old shadow geek, boom. You're a VIP now, so now you should be fine. Yeah. So if you wanna see the logo, it's over there, and if there are people crazy enough that they want to see it when it actually starts. Ooh. Streaming the uh, my Twitch work. There you go. That's good. The, that's, cool. the, that's the Twitch Rini. The... Hell yeah, guys, go go fucking. And they gotta make sure you snag your name button. on Twitch. Yeah, so I got the Instagram name Sick, and I got the, the Twitch name. I was like, okay, got the name. Good to go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Awesome. That's sick. Um,. Before we, like, now that you're on it, you might as well, you know, if you want to just quickly, you know, plug yourself yeah. and, and give us, give the people that might not know you a little rundown of who you are and what you do, you might as well do sure. that now. Um, I'm Shadow Geek or Shadow or OSG, whatever people like to call me. Uh, on my channel, I normally do uh, a lot of Skyrim lately again, playing through a small little mod pack, like 500 mods in it, which runs. Thumbs up. So that, that's always always nice, playing through the Wildlander uh, mod pack. And I have some Pokemon streams planned, and there are coming more Pokemon card openings soon, because I might have ordered a fuck ton. Dude, love spending money on cardboard. Uh, all right. That's what I do. Uh, without any further ado, let's, uh, let's begin. Last we left off, the party arrived in Strathmore and have a few days to kill. So they... Went on a little uh, exploration throughout town, the the several districts that are there. Played, um, got a bunch of random drinks at the Red Fleet. Uh, played some some gambling, did some shopping. Heard of a couple of potential uh, quests that they could embark on to kill time, since they have uh, a few days to go before the Porcupine Captain Vera's ship arrives at Strathmore. I also quickly want to uh, correct myself. Last week, when I when we were talking about the goblin uh, lady at the bar, uh, I told the part of the group that is on the inside of this whole thing uh, that this was the individual known as the hawk. That is a mistake. It's actually the dart, so I apologize. So quickly make sure that that's in, in the brains. A-R-T. Dart, not hawk. That's the downside of like having this like intricate criminal organization made up that everyone uses code names. You know, you mix them up sometimes. It happens. You know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I quick, mean, quick little correction on my end. Um, I used the wrong code name. You're not my the apologies. first person to mess up code names in this campaign. <laughs> True. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you guys left oh, off no. last time uh, in the morning after doing some shopping. 
uh, and I guess we'll just say that you're all kind of gathered in the uh, trade district of Strathmore. Um, as you all kind of uh, bask in the morning sun, it is uh, quite warm. It's a, it's a hot day already uh, this early in the morning, but there's this, 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 uh, this nice little breeze coming from the sea that kind of makes it uh, bearable and, and somewhat pleasant. And as you kind of look around, uh, you do see a quite big figure kind of slowly making their way towards you. Um, Shatter, would you like to tell us what the party sees when they look at your character? Of course. Um, you see a quite large turtle walking nice and slowly as a turtle does. Um... He's like six foot two. I would say like around a weight is about 550 pounds. He's, he, uh, he likes to eat. Um, you can, if you look at his skin, he has a nice rough leathery olive green skin over his body. Um, he's wearing a uh, black eye patch over his left eye. Uh, if you look at his right eye, it's a deep sea blue uh, eye that, that looks right back at you. Um, around his forearms, he has um, forearm guards in the form of bandanas wrapped around uh, in a nice blue greenish color. Uh, he wears some brown leather pants that stop right under the knee. Um, he has a purple uh, doublé. Uh, with yellow accents. It doesn't close and there's a hole in the back so shoes can pop out. Um, it's a, a nice little red scarf simply tied over his head in like a skull cap fashion with a brown uh, leather tricorn hat right on top. Um, on his belt you see a all black scimitar um, and he has a quarter staff and a shield to the side of him. Uh, and there you can see from the right side of the shoulder, there is a uh, Zionfit coral that pops out a what? and twists around a little bit. Um, like a so piece the, of the, coral? Yeah, like a, a, a big piece of coral shows up. And when he, cool. if, you get, if you get like a look of his back on his shield, uh, between the plates, there's all kind of uh, moss and coral growing out. But there's one specific main piece that comes on his right shoulder. Very, uh, Davy Jones crew from Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. Imagine being a total with a quarterstaff, but not having a purple mask. Dude. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Any colored mask. Does he have a love of pizza? <laughs> Shout out my boy Donatello. Big up, dude. I was always more of a Leonardo stan. You know, oh, you, you would say. be. Anyway, so, the fuck um, the no, uh, you really, you're the edgy one, aren't you? Um, so. He's the one in school that would go, do you know what his shy is? <laughs> <laughs> so you um, you Maybe. all see this this turtle, is this quite uh, large turtle approach you. Uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, do I see them? Yeah. You, you, you've you kind of been been given a description of what they look like. Uh, and um, and you you notice them standing kind of like in the trade district of town. And you're like, yeah, this is the group of people that I that I that I need. OK. Uh, well, in that case, I've seen him. I would be like, "Well, sink me and shiver me timbers." Is that you, Jax? Do I know him? <laughs> uh, make a history check. <laughs> <laughs> it's your dad. It's the, old, it's, it's the Alzheimer's striking again. <laughs> <You've heard laughs> Do I recognize you, young man? <laughs> Squints. <laughs> <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. You, Natural have, no one. you have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> Raid of Alzheimer's <laughs> moment, girl. I'm, I'm just gonna like look over at like Les and be like, um, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying already, dude. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, well, are you sh are you sure you're not you know not forgotten a few faces? I mean, how could you forget? Some it looks very piratey. Well, I mean, maybe it would help if our shelled friend here introduced himself. Might jog his memory a little bit, so... 
Oh yeah, Can of help course. You? Well, uh, me captain said that, to, that, that that there was a chance I saw a big blue man with the hat the size of the entire village around here. I think I found him and it must be Jax. So, my name is Kai. I'm a, a, a part of the crew of the Porcupine. Ah, oh, so you guys have arrived. Well, kinda. Who's your captain? Uh, Vieira. Captain ah, Vieira. Porcupine. Yes. How, how can a ship sort of arrived? What does that mean? Well, they, they sent me ahead to take care of some business. Are you on like a rowboat? That's oh, fucking ominous. I would like to insight check this man. <laughs> on, insight check. <laughs> oh, insight. Uh, and Shatter, just roll a persuasion check. Twenty-four. Oh my god. Uh, persuasion, you said, right? Persuasion, yeah. Uh, five. Uh, I want to know where he lived. I want to know. <laughs> as far as you can tell, uh, there's no what trace of been? his demeanor or his his like no stuttering, no. Uh, if he would be lying, he'd be very good at it. But yeah. as far as you can tell, he's, he's being honest. Yeah, yeah cool. Any uh, spiderweb tattoos on him either that I can if he's any visible skin as or shoulder? As far as you can tell, uh, there Hell are yeah. no, 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 no spiderweb tattoos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe maybe under the head. You never know. <laughs> no, the coral's in the shape of a spiderweb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Is this business that uh, you need our help with, or...? No, no this is more just a little check of things and stuff. So, not really. It's not not that hard to do. Little check, just little check of things and stuff. You know. So, so Vera sent you to check up on us. Is that what what's happening? Well, not really. Not you. Just yeah, some we're some we're other some other cargo. Have to check some cargo. You know, for someone we're going to be at sea with for an extended period of time, you are very, uh, right. lackluster when it comes to details. And, oh, what kind of cargo? And cargo. It... Pirate stuff. Pirate things. Pirate cargo? Yeah, just some, some crates with stuff in them. Just the normal. The normal yeah, stuff. crates. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, it right. definitely doesn't sound like you're shipping either something illegal or people. Or is it like, I mean... You're selling drugs to children. Oh, they're just doing both at the same time. Jesus Christ. That's not illegal yeah. around here, I believe. To be realistic, we never signed up. Uh, you know, we we sort yeah. of had an inkling that maybe it wasn't entirely... Legal operation? Above board. They are pirates. Oh uh, Yeah, it's kind of in the yeah, name. let's maybe not shout that so loudly. I didn't say it super loud, okay? <laughs> But I guess everything you do is super here. loud. No, it's not. I mean, I feel like everyone well, and his mum's a pirate around here, no? Well, this everyone conversation's and their mom's going a pirate on. around here. Like you. <laughs> pirates? Who else pirates' mums? What's up, Laura? While this conversation's going on, can I just sign to Kai, can you understand me? And see if he knows sign language? Um... <clears throat> Kai does not understand okay. sign language. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Privateers. Right. Privateers, oh. I should say. You know, pirates who are now under the employee of um, Crown or some other. Like, does... Let me, let me, let me rephrase. Do, do you have anything that's like, um, thieves can't, uh, Kai? No, but he knows, like, two or two or three words. That's it. Yeah, okay, there you go. So, like, he doesn't, like, he, he does, he's not able to communicate with you in that way or like and I, and I don't think at any point uh she would have communicated like mainsail or hoist so yeah, it's, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's also also quite hard to do it if you're like turtle you're hands. A you are not really <laughs> that's, that's true that's also true, true. So. <laughs> that's a bit difficult and but so maybe you can understand and then answer verbally but uh, anyway, it's the arthritis you see it's more like morse code <laughs> They just like tap on the shell. <laughs> <laughs> no, instead of instead of like his way of secret blown. communicating is just like popping his head in and out of his shell in like a certain <laughs> like, pattern. <laughs> I'm fine. He, he's, his, he just waves those flags around. 
Just pulls them out of the well, shell. Like, a, like an like, aircraft um, signal yeah. on the fall. Fucking simmer fall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when's the ship supposed to arrive? Two days. Even... Two days. Two days. Should, we should, it should be though. almost here. So how did you get here? Sloop? Rowboat? Speedboat? Teleport? Speedboat? What's the speedboat? Lift here already? It's a I got, I got a lift. Speed. I got a lift and I walked. Like a cutlass. Because not off, not off the plank, but I walked. You sort of stood off the edge of the ship with your thumb out waiting for someone to come by. They left me on an island and I have to use some other turtles to get here. <laughs> no idea. No. Uh, thing on turtles. That would be pretty oh, shameful if you didn't just fucking swim, wouldn't it? So you're here to check on what? Us, stuff, things, crates. Cargo. Just cargo. cargo. The thing that I run into you is just a mere coincidence. If I didn't, that was not the plan. So all, I, all I know is that we were used to. We were. The plan was to meet you at the harbor in a day or two. I know Jack's hard to miss and all, but this feels <laughs> a little bit. I mean, if you've seen the man. Two happenstance. He's almost as big as I am. Sorry, Devin, are not you... easy to miss. Well, I mean, he's hey. taller than you, but... Yeah. Devin, are you complaining about coincidence in this group? Of everything we've been through so far together. Listen. Someone having to find us who was also going to be on a pirate ship isn't so that big shit. a deal so compared to what we like had the middle and higher powers, but this is just a be bit... be realistic, Laura. It's not, not a big place, is this? You know, it's not like yeah. there's many places we could be going in the daytime. Is, is Onu also in around here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just kind of it's standing by. Oh. Gotta fucking eat the bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you also have a bird. I might have a little friend for him. It doesn't play well with others. <laughs> I just can't <laughs> give Onu a, a little, like, joking <laughs> Onu is always as tall as me, so... Yeah, Onu's a big boy. And I'm pretty sure. Well, I've seen well, where the, I've seen seen where the deals in my in my lifetime. So, it, uh, you, fi you well, fit each other. Whoever, who 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 whomever, I could never get that right. Your companion might be. I'd love to have a chat with him. You know, maybe get the lowdown from a bird's eye view. <laughs> I like your jokes, my friend. He will just. Someone has to. to statistically, someone has to. <laughs> he will just slowly walk outside, stick his arm out, and whistles, and then comes back and he uh, comes back and he has like a parrot on his arm that walks on the shoulder. Onu eats it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Onu just. I will. I would like to see you try. Because it will just return. <clears throat> I only could do that as well. Fuck. Oh. Sure is uh, the, is the parrot a uh, familiar? Or is it an actual uh, yep. parrot? Nice. Familiar. Well, I don't know how busy you're, whatever you're doing is, but we are on a relaxing sort of holiday before we go off. So you are welcome to join us in relaxing, but it's, I don't know if you have this sort of important business that you may be things to, you know, you can come find us later on. But we're sort of, you know, it's a holiday. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've checked most of the cargo already. But if you want me to take along, I can. It doesn't, doesn't help having some more people together, be a bigger group. I just tried to look at Brooks as he's there, just being like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Subtly. Subtly. Yeah, no. I think we have some pre booked activities that we couldn't add anyone into, but in the evening, you can join us for a drink. Just kind of looking at it, like, sure, that'll do. <laughs> I mean, if you already have plans, I don't want to interrupt those plans, of course. So, if you invite me for joining in the evening, yes, I can. I'll just check the final piece of cargo. In the meantime, that sounds wonderful. You could tell us all about the ship and she flies run down. So, well, I <clears> bloody hope so. so. It's a ship. <laughs> What's the, what, what is this cargo, anyway? 
like I said, just some, some crates that are in a little warehouse. I need to check to see if the cargo's actually in the crates. And then we, All then right. we, got, so... and then we didn't got robbed. Because that happened before. So, what's supposed to be in the crates? Here we go. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I said the cargo's in the crates. Right. I need to check the crates to see so if the cargo's in the crates. And I'm going to ask again what the cargo is. And if you say that the cargo is the crates, again, right? Stuff in the crates, yes. So the stuff it's is in the, the cargo. It's the cargo, the stuff yeah. stuff in the crates and the, the crates the cargo. And the, so what's the stuff? Oh, the stuff is the cargo. The cargo's in the crates. I think what get... he's politely trying to say is that he's not going to tell you what's in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but don't tell him that because it was really fun just watching him like struggle his way through it. <laughs> not struggling, all right. I'm just trying to. If you really want to know, right. you can always ask the captain when you board the ship. If she says you are allowed to know, we will tell you. If she says none of your business, it's none of your business. All right. Fuck you now. And right. I'll sign to Kess. I'll sign to Kess. I mean, Jax used to work with her. Maybe he knows what kind of cargo she typically trades or operates in. We could ask him later. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna sign back. I was just gonna go and look in the crates at the first opportunity I get. I figured, but in case that takes a while. <clears throat> we could just follow him. See where he goes. Oh, and what's our first stop for the day? Well, we've been shopping, but we have a few other things to wrap up, and then we can always meet up with with our new friend at at the tavern. Well, seems good place as any. <laughs> Everyone, everyone on board with that? Yeah. On board. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, technically, I'm off board, but sure. <laughs> I right, we're staying at the at the Red Fleet. You know the one tavern that's here. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I know. You didn't know. You're pulling a circle around. The one good one. Yeah, so yeah. That's we'll leave you to <laughs> do whatever you're doing, and we will meet you there later. Sounds fine to me. Yeah, and I begin walking the other direction. Checking your crates. As uh, soon as like we're like relatively out of your shop, like, um, who else wants to know what's in the crates? So which one of us is following? I'll follow. I, will, I can go or, invisible. Or Matt. Yeah, Same. I mean, so can I? Want to go together then? Team follow, let's go. Oh, are we sending three of us invisible to go figure out what's in the yep. not, And no. I cast invisibility. No, we're not sending three. No. three of you. Not sending three of you. Not sending three of you. Not sending three of you. Oh, well, he's got to go now because he's invisible. So no, we, 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 that's on him. He doesn't need to go. We could just send Kess, who is the quietest, probably. We're not sending Kess by herself. To do when he something. says quietest, I, I just quiet. tap Davian's shoulder. I think both me and. That Diagon can go are, invisible, Dagon. Just I can I'm go invisible, and I'm much better at being be. quiet than Cass. Actually, like unreasonably stealthy. The extra D4 and everything. Yeah. Kind of What's a D4? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I like to think. I know Cass isn't saying it's loud, but Cass is just still saying it so loud. It's like I'm stealthy. I can go yeah. stealthy. Like... <laughs> no. Okay, hear me out. Pause the scene. <laughs> yeah. No, Kess no, I'm here. Kess should go on her own. Yeah, Kess should go on her own. Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm going invisible and I'm following can, after fucking Kai. What is, is yeah. Jackson also make... just going? Yep. Can anyone make I haven't heard, like, the second it. half of that conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean... Uh, <clears throat> once they go so, invisible, I would have... Yes, too? but... <laughs> but then I won't be invisible and... <sighs> At this point, both Jax and Kess have gone mm -hmm. invisible, and you have no idea if they're still around or if they're gone. I will cast my, Sea Invisibility. <laughs> my, my plan was and to stick to luck. rooftops oh, and follow... My plan was to rooftops this. and follow Kess by scent. Kess None and Kai. know this! What? You can't tell us that out of character, you've got to... 
Hmm? But, um... She's got to communicate against someone. What? So, okay, wait, hold on. You s you cast Sea Invisibility? Yes. You just managed to kind of, like, as Kai kind of, like, makes his way uh, cool. around the corner, you can just see the two of them. Invisible. I have a question. I have a question for Straight both Kes, Kes and like Jax. This. Like, are they are they walking stealthily, or are they just walking fucking normally? Because uh, they're just like. Well, yeah, I'll ask them. Are you guys good. trying to be as stealthy as possible? Yes. Yeah. Make yeah. a stealth check with advantage. Yeah. Oh god, Jax, two that ones, baby. No. Oh, no. Hey, yeah. hey, I rolled good for 19 me. Plus... I rolled two 18s. <laughs> so okay, sixteen. So. Why is this today? man? With a negative two to 26. stealth. 16 and a 26? Yep. What's your passive perception, Kai? Higher than my roll. It's quang, quang, sef quang. 17. 17? <laughs> Fuck. What is he, the fucking navigator? Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, uh... You're going to just kind of like go going to the docks to to make sure that all the cargo is there and then check out check out the final crates uh, before you pretty much can just kind of enjoy two days off Not before your duty uh, your duties continue. Um, you kind of make your way like halfway towards the ports and then Jack's kind of like is so focused on trying to remain stealthy that he doesn't notice that there's like a, a stray bucket on the side of the road and kind of kicks it and you kind of look back. You can see a bucket kind of like rolling around, but you, so like you hear something, and you see like this. You you your best guess is like ah, I guess, I guess I don't know, bucket fell over or something, or maybe you don't know. But um, you um, don't see anyone trailing you or anything, so you just kind of make your way, okay. continue down to the dock. I want to be following via rooftops since I'm not invisible. Okay, in that case, make a stealth check. Before Dagon would have gone. Yeah. I would have tried, I, well, if they were close enough to me, I would have given them, um, fucking whatever the thing is that I can do, Vigilant Blessing. Okay. Ew. Okay, well, Dagon, 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 Dagon oh. got Vigilant Blessing. Okay. Damn. Wow. Well, well, Dagon's going as well, so at this point, three of us have already fucking gone. Do we just go <laughs> hang around and... I mean, I'm here to have a holiday. I ain't dicking about trying to look into some cargo. I couldn't give a shit. So, <laughs> I'll... <laughs> I I'm also going, couldn't give a shit, but I'm going on to a spot. I don't, I don't trust know about those three to not get into trouble. Well, if they end up dead, just bring them to me. <laughs> You've not got three diamonds, have you? <sighs> Bugs. Oh, I fucking fuck it, and I just kind of take that turn around and start like half walking to like. I I don't want to fucking have all of us dicking around, but should we just? It's we can, She's gonna do something stupid. We can meander on down to the docks. I can just assume where they're going. And we can just yeah, look like we're killed. sightseeing. Shall we try and find a street vendor and grab some food so we at least look like we're not just down there looking suspicious as shit? Sounds great. Street vendor food in Strathmore. A couple rats on sticks or something? <laughs> it's a <laughs> fucking <laughs> dock, yeah. It, Surely you know, fish, be, Davian. Be Surely fish. it'd be fish. No, 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 no. Places like this. Export all the fish. The locals don't get shit. That's how it goes. I don't. Fucking I don't think... seaweed rafts then or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't think that's <clears> fine. Um, yes. What street food is available as we walk down to the docks? Uh, that's on sticks. Right, that's on sticks. A couple of stands as you kind of get closer Corn. to the um, to the to the docks, like closer towards like on the side of the chicken. where the beach also is. There's some there's some street vendors that peddle a variety of just random tourist trap goods, you know, like, oh, bandanas, that sort of thing, but also some food stands. Any tricorn hats? Sure. <laughs> there is now. <laughs> I would like there a tricorn hat. Oh, there were so many times there's you were a, just there's, there's a hat vendor. Um, the vendor is this human individual no real facial hair except for these like thick bushy sideburns that go all the way down down his uh like down his cheeks down to his whatever uh he's wearing this like very over the top flowy white shirt with like the leather uh around it very textbook this is what like pirates Iron Man. look like in yeah. you know in like children's books and stuff like that um and he's selling tricorn hats for five silver a pop 
Do they look it like really good? It really is a Taurus trap. Do they look good? Are they good? Uh, Python heads? No. Uh, you want to you want to like look at one? Like proper? Yeah. Yeah. Give one a little look. Mass produced. Make an investigation check. Kingdoms. Oh my god! I'm investigating the tricorn hedge. I forgot a small <laughs> thing about the appearance of Kai. Oh. He has, he has one wooden leg. Oh shit. Which one, left or right? Uh, it was his... I believe his left one. Luckily for you, not a single character looked below his waist, so... 30-20! 30-20? Uh, I mean... It'll look... It, it looks like it'll, it'll, it'll do the job. It's not one made by, like, a professional, like, tailor or anything, but it'll, it'll, it'll do. Leather? Like a faux leather kind of kind of vibe, not real leather. Ooh. Pleather. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Buy, I'm not gonna buy one. Okay. I will um, keep an eye out for a haberdashery though. <clears throat> as far as foods go, uh, a bunch of just like fish. Whether it's like you know, like those smaller like fish that are just like have like the stick poke through them that are like char char scam char grilled. Well. Oh, God. Oh, sure, I man. just keep my head down as we walk past the twelve fish yeah. stand. We, <laughs> Any like we... Portuguese style fucking yeah, fried fucking... fish balls? Oh. Sure, man. Fuck yeah, that's what we're getting. Oh yeah. Oh, you don't uh, meanwhile, uh, Daigon, because you're following on the rooftop, is gonna get uh, a stealth check from you, please. Mm -hmm. How much did the fish balls 18. cost? Like three silver a serving. Eighteen. Uh, your passive perception was seventeen, right, uh, Kai? Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Kai, you make your way to one of the warehouses that you know houses uh, the the porcupine's cargo. Uh, you have a key for the door, so you just you know take the key out of your satchel or whatever form of bag you're carrying, put it in the lock, open it, and and push the door open. Uh, what is the rest of you guys doing? Like seeing that this this turtle is is entering this specific is warehouse. Is there windows into the warehouse? Yeah, a couple. I, I just want to get to the roof of the warehouse, and I'm just gonna listen to see if I hear signs of any sort of struggle or anything. Like if it sounds like he's caught them, I'll go in. If not, I'm just gonna sit on the roof of the warehouse and watch. Make sure okay. Kess or Jax don't get into trouble. Just chill. Okay. Um. The other two, the two invisible people. What yeah, are you guys how high doing? are the windows? How high are the windows? Uh, like two feet off the ground, like two and a half feet off the ground. Just gonna. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just take a little peek in. Okay. Make a perception check. Uh, uh, that is seventeen. Seventeen. You see inside that there's a bunch of crates stacked in like kind of like clusters. Uh, there's like labels on them. Um. Uh, and you can see Kai walk up to one specific cluster of crates. Uh, and Kai, you kind of just do a check and you open up the crates and make sure that all the, the stuff in there is as it should be, which it is. And it seems That's that uh, all the cargo needed for the next trip of the porcupine is ready to, to be loaded on the ship as soon as it arrives. Um, with that, you shut the crates again. And uh, you take your leave, I reckon, unless there's something else that you want to do in there. Oh, I reckon that's it. Okay. Just have a uh, did my job. Check check the the crates. Time to relax. Check the stuff. Yeah. The car. So, check the stuff. Uh... The things. <clears throat> yeah. So as you as you look through the crates, it's just a variety of you know like like drinkable water, uh, rations, uh, rip, like nails and pieces of, you know, planks just in case the ship gets damaged and needs uh, needs a fix on the go, that sort of thing. Uh, and everything seems to be there. So you uh, take your leave, lock up the door behind you, and uh, you headed to the Red Fleet just to have a drink and relax, have some food and chill for a bit? Or what did, anything sounds, else? Yeah, no, sounds good. Sounds okay. Good. I think he, he, he deserves a drink. So anything that the... Uh, the stalker trio wants to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Once he leaves, I'm gonna be like, Psst, yes. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna like tap his arm so he knows. Like, oh no, I don't can't see him. No, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, it's so lovely you guys are fucking each other. <laughs> I, I mean, I was just gonna teleport in and then out, just walk out. <laughs> 
I don't think I could do both of those. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, I could. Question DM. Hello. So the way Misty Step says it's 30 feet to an occupied space that you can see. I would say if you can so see it through can a see window, inside. you can see the... Sp yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, sounds like a plan. <clears throat> I'm gonna misty step, misty step inside. inside. All right. There you go. So the both of you misty step inside the warehouse. What do you do? I'm not visible because I cast a spell. That is true. Same. Ah, ah, there you are. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, it's this cluster over here. And I'll uh, take oh, her over to the cluster yeah. that I saw him looking at. Yeah. You just gonna take off some lids and have a look? Yeah. yeah you know, we'll pop open a couple crates. So there's six crates there, two of which are filled with food and water rations and just bottled water and flasks and that sort of thing. Uh, there's one crate that is filled with nails, hammers, um, that's tools. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, how many? Was that? That's, that's, three. that's okay. three. That's three. So there's not a crate with uh, more repair supplies, so like wood, planks of wood, that sort of thing. And then there's also uh, a crate with just like 20, 30, 40 bottles of rum. So it just seems to you, knowing, you know, having history with, you know, sailing under Captain Vera, this is just, you know, the basic essentials a ship, would, a ship would need. Uh, knowing that they're going to be out on sea for a while. Okay. Are there any other crates in this warehouse? Yeah, uh, you can see various clusters and they're all like marked. So this corner that you've mar that is marked is like... <clears throat> Has like the the porcupine like like emblem on like a piece of paper okay. to kind of indicate it's theirs. And there's a couple more emblems that kind of represent ships and, and that 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 pile of crates is. Would I is recognize any of the other emblems as like trade vessel emblems per se? Oh yeah, there's a couple of piles that have the uh, like the the the, the, the merchants, the trade company from Eldalon. They're all oh, going. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start opening up those crates. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm, go I'm gonna close the ones that we opened, okay. so they're like the same as they were. Uh, roll me a roll me a d20, Soko. Okay. Let's see which one you open. Two. Two. Uh, so you open up that crate, uh, and inside it you find <clears throat> like large clusters of uncut, uh, unrefined ores and gemstones. Guess. Uh, come here, come here, guess. I will go over. Ooh. So, um, shall we skip off the top? <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, I think we talk about diamonds, because Lazarin's always complaining about he, diamonds. He does need them. Well, then, what you see in there, like, as, to be more specific, gemstones-wise, it's uh, mainly, uh, this crate in particular uh, is, is emerald. Amethyst and Sapphire. Okay. Um, well, we can maybe take a good bit. I, I have a key knife for jewels. Um, how much do you want to take? I'd like one of the green ones. All right, I'll try and find like the nicest, biggest emerald I can find in the box. Yeah. Well, given that they're all uh, uncut, un unprocessed, yeah. it's it's they're all very rough around the edges. None of them have that like that like sheen to them or anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a nice like sizable chunk that you reckon with some time, you could probably find a way to refine that to make it look pretty. Okay, I'll hand that one to Cass. Okay, and so Cass, I want you to nice... mark in your inventory uh, uncut. Emerald, was it right? You wanted a green one? Yeah. Uncut emerald worth 75 gold pieces. Hell yeah. I'm going to take a nice, nice little, little amethyst one. You know? Okay, yeah, same. Uh, yours will also be 75 gold pieces worth, so just oh. uncut amethyst, 75 GP. Alright. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Should we look in more boxes? <laughs> We are in here after all. We, we might as well take make use of the opportunity. All right. I open. I'll close that box, then open another one. Okay. Daigon, you're on the roof, right? 
Yes. You notice that from the like Red Fleet side of the docks, this squad of six guards comes running in the direction of the warehouse that you're on top of. Is there any sort of skylight or anything or windows on top or no? no. It's a flat roof. Okay. I'm just gonna run down and just start like climb down as quickly as I can and just start banging on the door and looking in, in a window and see until that they can see me. And if Kes looks at me, I'm just gonna sign guards get out. Okay. okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pull on Jax. We, we gotta go. There are guards coming. Uh, okay. And as soon as um, Kes sees me, I'm booking it. I I'm gonna okay. trust them to get out on their own. Through the window, can we see the roof? Of a nearby, uh, like, you can building. see a roof of like a, a couple a couple warehouses down. Yeah. You know? Okay. Would it be like roughly thirty feet or so, or is it sixty feet? Uh, yeah. I think Miss Steps thirty feet. Oh, are you gonna Misty Step again? I, I can. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> oh shit! Well, what are you gonna do? Because I don't. Know. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. <laughs> I can send one of us. You're gonna be the one who's the most inconvenient. <laughs> what you see through that window, Jax, just to make it a little easier for you, you can see like the roof with within range. You can, like, it's, you can probably kind of like, if you look up, kind of see the edge of the roof of the warehouse next door. But there's also just like space between the buildings, and not really an alleyway, but definitely a pathway that you could also just yeet yourself into to get away. Jax, can you can you get out of here like the way we came in? Okay, uh, here, take this. I'm gonna give him Dashu's vessel and disappear into it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit, that's smart. so smart. Okay, then I'm <laughs> going to cast Vortex Warp on myself because I can send myself 90 feet Ooh. with this. Vortex Warp. Vortex um, Warp. So I like kind of like push through a little portal and it portals me on the top of the roof, uh, the warehouse next door. Okay. Or like, 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 like do Let's do the alleyway. Down. Let's do the alleyway. Alleyway? Okay. Side of it. Yeah. Um, as you teleport yourself and kind of like make your way out of there, you can just, you won't see it anymore because you like probably bend a corner, but you can hear a door just being slammed open and you reckon you got out of there just in time. Just, uh, kind of look around a little bit and just start walking. <laughs> Whistling I'll, myself a little When I ran away, bit. I'll just booked it back towards the Red Fleet. Okay. And across rooftops until I got closer to the Red Fleet. Oh no, because I was down on the ground. Never mind, just scratch that, because I went on the ground to signal the kids. True, true, Are we true, true. down by the docks at this point? Uh, yeah, you're you're on the Red Fleet side of the docks. That's where, <clears> you know, the kind of the beach side with, the, with where the stands are and the market stalls and that sort of thing. <clears throat> I just have this image in my head of Brooks and Lazarus stood with a little box full of these little balls of, of fried fish just... You'll also see. Uh, you'll also see Kai kind of coming in that direction from down the docks because he's making his way to uh, to the Red Fleet. This seems to be going very well. I mean, as well as not heard or seen guards running yet. So, well, you have. It's not too... We have. They've, they've oh, have past us there. You've seen that because those guards like kind of like oh, ran past yeah, you yeah. to get to that side of the dock. We're, we're stood eating okay, like okay, it's, fish it's, popcorn. Okay, okay. <laughs> then, then, then rewind. It's literally they're like, right. Do we <laughs> run forwards? Nope. Do we go see what's happening? Nope. Not even been used to us. Been like, oh, if they're being thing? dragged away by guards, then we'll get involved. <laughs> but at this point, they can just deal oh, with the on. consequences that they're. How exactly do we get involved in that case? We'll figure it out. We'll we'll improv it. Yeah, we'll no, no, no. Not about oh, no. Start fucking what, what do you want us to do other than this... go over and get in the way of guards who <laughs> oh, no. are going to arrest us? It would be fine. That's a great though, idea. Let's set something on fire. No, no, it'd be fine because Kess will have diplomatic immunity and obviously can get herself out of this situation. And I have the sh just shit eating grin of just <laughs> smile me bullshit. Like. <laughs> At what point in their fine. conversation, because I want to just see if I can sneak up behind them and eventually just like tap the Lazarin on the shoulder before he notices I'm there and then see if I can just give him a little. Right, I have high pass perception. Make, we I see, know. make a stealth Weren't check. you like booking make it towards check? us? Yeah. Weren't you full on no. running towards us? I, I was running until I put in a feet and then I'm going to like slow down. Didn't you hear the collar jingle? It was jingle just on? the immediate. <laughs> Basically, I use, I use like my feline agility to do a quick like sprint a few blocks and then I slowed it down. Okay. Um, we're, we're watching that way. Oh well. 
Yeah, no, I'm gonna fail miserably. <laughs> like, given that, like, logically, Dagon wouldn't run in the direction the guards are coming from, because that's suspicious. She would True. probably, you know, give I it a wide berth, uh, right? Because again, remember, I am terrified of law enforcement, even when I'm innocent, so... <laughs> So, uh, I'll give Anyways, you- I only, give rolled, you... I only rolled a 13, so... Uh, what's your passive perception, Elazrin? Higher than that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. See? Uh, you tap Elazrin on the shoulder, uh, but Elazrin doesn't really jump or react. He's, he's kind of... Oh. Alright. Uh, and then I just, I just, like... <laughs> At this point, Kai, you'll also kind of get to that side, where you can, you see them all kind of standing together, minus two of them. Um, which one, Elazrin, do you reckon tripped the alarm? Yes. How much you want to bet on it? Oh, I'm not, I'm not betting on it. Uh, to be fair, it's probably a combination of the two of them. Let's be real. Kess probably starts to do something stupid. Jax wants to go stop her. Then, when that failed because Jax can't control Kess, that's when it went wrong. Why is it slandered? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll never know. They'll never know. Oh man's coming over. Look, look casual. Yeah, just <laughs> it's like two balls in my mouth. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it! No, no. <laughs> in the no. street, dude. So that's Kai, that's you, too far, you walk, bro. You you walk and you just like kind of as you approach, you can just see a laser just. <laughs> You'll enjoy it more if you eat a bit slower, my man. Wait. We're we're just grabbing something to eat before we head off to get shit done. Mm. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> Have to admit, I'm a little worried about you after watching that. So uh, oh. yeah, everything good with the stuff and things and cargo and crates. Oh yeah, the cargo was okay. Was in the crates I'll with the other that. cargo, or the, I that don't know. Great. Devin got confused. Just the stuff in the crates is still there, so that's okay. That's important. A couple balls you can stuff in your mouth in a minute, Elijah, I swear. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck? Wait, where is Kess and Jax right now? Not oh, there yet. Yeah. I just do a really awkward, like, I don't know, and like, <laughs> eyes wide and shoulders up. Is Jax, is Jax moving towards the rest of the group? I'm sure they're still yeah, shopping. Just, you know, I'm sure they're, they're, they're getting some supplies. They've gone to the general store to see if they can try and get fishing rods, because I can't yeah, find anyone willing to rope. sell me one. But, uh... I don't know where they went. I'll... Like, sort of walk up to Daigon, and sort of, like, whisper him, like, you're supposed to be the one looking after them, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you're the carer, you're the carer. <laughs> I, I, I just give a Lazarin like eyes and arrow a look, and <laughs> so this woman doesn't also remembers like, you can't answer. Like I want to answer, but I'm like it's he doesn't it's useless. He doesn't know. What to, and then just like <laughs> yeah, looking yeah, at the yeah, yeah, I see your hands move, and it's that moment a Lazar remembers. Oh, you can't reply to me. <laughs> <laughs> will I take back my question? <laughs> I will sign good to Daikin and. I, yeah, and I'll, I'll just nod yes to that. A couple minutes. I will sign food and offer some of the fish balls. I will literally take every single one of them out of his hand and just go to town. <laughs> I will just pass you the box. A <laughs> uh, couple minutes go by and that's when Jax... Did you... Did, uh, did Kess, like, it pop out of the vessel it, already? or At this point, when Kess would jump out when she hears the others' voices. Okay, okay. So yeah, Jax, you approach... And, and she's leaving... She's leaving the uncut emerald behind. Okay. In the vessel. Nice. So just kind of like, Smart. as you approach the rest of them, Jax, you can see Kai is also kind of there, just kind of meandering. Uh, and as you kind of hear, their, guys, you. hear their voices, Kess just... But as, she pops out, as she pops out, I just like tap a Lazarin and do like, like point eyes wide, like is, at a seat. Hold on, hold like, on. Like, like is, they're fine. Is Kai guys, right there? So did you guys manage to find anyone that sells fishing rods? Uh, unless no. Kai decided to to like enter the Red Fleet and leave you guys like meandering, by the everyone room. fucking like suddenly appearing out of nowhere, like <laughs> like yeah, nothing weird going on here. No, I, f I think Kai would just be like because the, the he, he made the little deal like okay, we'll see I'll see you guys later today, and then yeah. he's just like I've done my stuff, said hi, passed passing by, brought some food, and then 
eat it and then just went back to the back to the tavern and have, have a drink there. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Just... Um. What was what was in the car? What, what? Nothing interesting. Was it? it was. You'll really never believe and... what we found. Jax. I just hold we the hand out to a Kess. <laughs> wooden plaques. I don't believe it. I don't believe that for a fucking second. You are full of shit. And nails. Who put... No, 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 no. Who yeah, makes a box water. out of wooden planks and nails to put wooden planks and nails in? All right. It makes it easier to, to carry. So you can carry them. You can just fucking lash them together and put them on a crane or whatever. You don't need a box to <laughs> keep the fuck things... What the a crane? A I just, it's I just a big like thing this. made of pulleys and ropes. That you fucking crank, or you get some people inside it to fuck like a big hamster wheel, and you can move big <laughs> loads around with it. What do you mean, what's a fucking crank? You were a pirate for hundreds of years. Get... <laughs> Why are you putting hamsters in wheels? <laughs> Fun for them. Well, also for me. It depends whether you boot it or not. <laughs> what? If you kick it, it's no longer fun for the hamster. Why are you kicking <laughs> hamsters in wheels? <laughs> not Hang fun on. for you, is it? Hang on. Why are you kicking hamsters, bro? <laughs> That's now that's it was fucked actually up. a polymorphed gnome in this one really weird evening when I was very drunk. I feel like that might even be worse somehow in my brain. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. kick. No, no, no. I feel like I should specify. I didn't kick them because they were a gnome. I kicked them right. because they were polymorphed in a ball. You so say you kicked them because they were a hamster? It's like most fucking hamsters. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> There's no good I don't think hamsters really have an illegal representation, he's, so I'm just going to leave it he's there. Going to, he's going to tell us that also have dog community? fighting. Hamsters do indeed have diplomatic immunity. I think I it. I think it's a, lo it's a long-standing treaty between the hamsters and the empire. Oh, for, oh, for the great hamster war. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Didn't forget. I yeah, heard no, that no. The, the kingdoms lost 60 men in the great hamster war. Uh, <laughs> is anyone? I think the empire may have lost 60 men in the great hamster war. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking New about? New law! You're mocking the um, great emu mall, but we're not. I, I know my mind isn't very sharp, but I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, because it doesn't exist, Jax. <laughs> we're, we're doing this thing called, called bullshitting. Oh, I thought you guys always told the truth. Huh. I give it's Jax you, just this a look of like. Nails? <laughs> yeah, don't. Alasrin always bollocks shit. I, I'm normally fairly truthful. The Lazarin shit. always bollocks shit. <laughs> you should have seen the way he ate those fucking card balls, my guy. My guy! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, is there anything yeah. that you lot want to do with your day before you uh, go to the red oh, the red So, Kess, what, what did you find in mm. the cargo? Because uh, it's on with Kai. It was like, it was food mm. and water, and actually, done wooden planks and nails. Or a value. It's fucking no, interesting and it... of value. No, it's fucking interesting and of value. No one's not going to tell us what it is if it's fucking food and planks to nails. No but one we did get shit. some pretty rocks. No. Okay, Ooh, hold yes, on. We did steal from a merchant company. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh God, which one? Um, <laughs> uh, the, the one in Eldalon. Who? Oh, oh the, the trade oh, company. Boys. Uh, uh, Lazarin, this is for you. And I'll hand him the, the amethyst that I have. Cut charms. <laughs> Cut charms. <laughs> Uncut charms. I'll look at them. I'll just be like, great. I have a green one, but I left it in the vessel where I thought it would be safer. You, you have a, now an accessory have, to crying. Yeah, wait, you have a green amethyst or a green gem? Gem. Yeah. It's an emerald. <laughs> Dude, yes, shut so. the fuck up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. What? Shut up. Say anything. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, what sorry, sorry. Keep going. Is Josh Safety's muse in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Well, <laughs> if the containers only contained nails and boards and food and shit, then there's no valid reason why he's chatting on that. So either it's magically disguised. Or you two are fucking. Oh bad fuck! At did this. you see your hand in? Oh. You wouldn't have been able to get in, and we did the job, and you just don't believe us because you're sad that you didn't get to go. Did it's you not that I don't believe in? you. I believe that you saw that. 
I don't believe that he would go fucking check up on some fucking rations. Did you uh, put well, if they get stolen, it would be really bad. It would be quite bad if supplies You can spread. just buy more. If I just signed a kettle. Oh, I mean... Oh, no. Like, what do you... Money is an oh, object. He said that he checked on the Sorry. rest of it before. And while you guys this were doing that, I just signed a kettle. Clearly, no one here has ever dealt with like starvation or food deprivation before a box of rations is plenty valuable to me especially when you're out in the ocean you can't just pop to the shop just saying Dagon's okay. calling you all idiots um, and i know yes it's it's very i believe them in your life. <laughs> i'm with you guys i believe you I, no i i'm just i I'm just with, don't no, think at this point i'm on go... I'm on maybe, the brook, maybe they would check it when they're loading it on board like oh let's just pop it and make sure it is what it is but to send someone ahead to make sure that that car goes okay and no, have it makes... just be generic shit like that doesn't i mean that makes sense though brooks because it's you know it's literal life or death again i said yes. the guess food like your literal life depends on good supplies let's see Seems you don't want really fucking sewed or some shit stuffed inside the fucking Well, if rations. there is fantastic news, it's the rations of pe it's people we're traveling with. It's not exactly like, you know, yeah. someone else. Not like you've stolen from like a different, completely unrelated stored thing here. Just staring straight at Cass. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just said which one I thought I would like. <sighs> So Kai, Kai still is still here, right? Kai yeah, is still with Kai went inside. Okay. No. Oh, Kai went inside. Okay. Yeah, we've been talking about this. Yeah, we wouldn't be talking this openly. I thought so. Okay. While you're yeah, all he, continuing he to argue, I'm just going to go like, ugh, like wave my hand in a like, fuck this shirt. And I'm going to go inside. I'm just going to go sit at the table where Kai is and write, take my talking journal and just write, hey, my name's Dagon and slide the journal over to Kai. I have a really good news. Or a hand. Portal <laughs> hand. The... Total claw. The claw. <laughs> claw to claw. So, is it just you, or are your friends also coming? Hold up one finger to imply just well, me. If it's just you, want something to drink? <clears throat> Not yes. Not a talkative type. Okay. Uh. Anything in particular you would like? I will point. I will write uh, thoughts and prayers, please, on the journal. Oh. Okay. Big brain I'm move. Gonna... Oh yeah. Okay. 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 And I will just uh, turn on. Hi, Barky. Can I get yes? a? Uh, can I get a thoughts and prayers for the last, please? Nothing wrong with a bit of day drinking. All right, coming right up. Turns out all, that, all that's going through Dagon's minds is it's just Benny Hill theme. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Barkeep makes a, makes your drinks and then puts them on your table. That'll be seven silver then, love. I'll I'll pay for the for it. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to. And I just late. Fling... I've already done. No. <laughs> I'll you can both fling. pay, and I'll just keep the rest okay. as a tip. I will just fling gold. Oh. Remind me how long it, it lasts. Five Dutch, minutes. The effect, five minutes, okay. Yeah. It, and it doesn't matter if I, like, sip it or if I down it. I can't artificially extend it by no. only having a little no. bit. And then it's kind of like, like I guess, an, a potion in that way. Okay. But we can, like, flavor it, I guess. That is, like, if you're gonna, like not down it but just kind of like it, it will just last for as long as you decide to you know to drink the drink and then as you drink your Can last we make sip, it like if i take a small sip it's like a single thought per sip because i'm trying to make it last and and then when it's sure. done it's done yeah sure all sure. right so i take a little sip and then go and then just like think in my head this is probably easier i don't talk hi and then kai you just hear that in your yeah. head you, uh, the, the thoughts and prayers drink makes it so that anyone within two feet of uh, Daigon can hear her surface thoughts. So you just hear Daigon's, like, you get, you hear a voice coming from Daigon, but you don't see her lips move. And I, I wave again as the <clears throat> thought finishes. 
That's so cool. Okay. Yeah, that's very big brain actually. Okay. Very, very fucking big brain. Okay. <laughs> but about like, five bottles of that shit. <laughs> bit, oh, that's the plan. It's on yes, but it works, I guess. No, no it just I... looked like a lunatic who's talking him himself. There's <laughs> no one who's replying. <laughs> Take another sip and go. If you're okay looking like a lunatic, then that'd be nice, because I don't get to talk to a lot of people. Have you seen me? In comparison to the other folks around here. I really am a bit of a lunatic. I just, have you seen me? I just also look down at myself, and I'm very confused, because I'm like, normally, if, if there's still any lingering thoughts, you might catch a faint of, normally I'm the one saying that. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I, I take another sip and go, have you ever seen anyone that looks like me in all your travels out of curiosity? That's right. Um, make a history check, guy. That's 24. Oh, shit. Uh, well, you've seen Tabaxi uh, before. Yeah. Um, you haven't seen any hairless tabaxi uh but you have from your time that you've spent talking to tabaxi on your on your various travels um through your life have heard that there is some superstition among certain tabaxi communities that that it's a bad omen it, it brings bad luck it brings a bunch of negativity um but as far as have you seen any hairless tabaxi? No, Daigon would be your first. Well, with them honest, I've seen a, a couple, but mostly they had the fur and stuff. Can can say I have seen a hairless one just yet, so that's the first. I know about the whole mojo that goes around the, the hairless ones, but... It's mostly just talk, isn't it? And you just hear in your head, I hope so. Oh. And I'll take another sip, because I'm like, feels pretty unlucky, though, because the only, so far, the only person I ever really got close to died, and my family hates oh. me. The new ones haven't died yet, though, and I hope that stays that way. Well, I was going to say, let's hope that stays that way. I know... Mm -hmm. I know a little bit of a thing of getting close to someone and they passing away. So my condolences for, for your loss. I just reach out and do an awkward, like, shoulder pat <laughs> in, like, sympathy when, <clears throat> when he says that. On, on the coral or the one without the coral? The one without the coral. Okay. <laughs> the Smart. one with the coral looks sharp. It's an easy way to cut open your hand, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, while you guys are, you know, kind of just getting to know each other a little bit, what's yeah, the rest so of... That, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys can keep talking. That's what I'm doing while you yeah. continue to what's discuss the, What's the, the rest the of uh, you guys doing? <laughs> okay, well, well, dumb cargo shit over. What do we actually still have to do today, if anything? Um, this is something really important that we need to do. Um, super... I just remembered. We need to spa and relax. This is our holiday <gasps> day. Not doing anything else, not doing any jobs. Before we do anything um, else, or are we going beach. later, or... We go... I would say right, as soon as possible, to the beach first. Yeah. We do go, go to, to the beach, beach first, and then we we'll do a little beach, sort of fun at the beach, and then we go to the right, spa. Right, okay, yeah. Because then you get all the sand yeah. out of the places. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, so shall we maybe go collect Daigon before we go to the beach? And Kai I'm as well, I guess, at this point, but let's not leave Daigon. Suppose. I'm gonna go uh, into the tavern then. You go into the tavern, you spot uh, Daigon sitting at a table next to Kai uh, with a drink, and Kai is talking. Maybe you come in at the awkward hand, the shoulder Yeah, pat. you come in you come as, as Daigon <laughs> kind of gives him an awkward shoulder pat. Uh, we're going to the beach. You wanna come? I'll, to I'll, I'll nod yes, and I'll take the last bit of my drink, because it'll, it'll be used up by now, and be like, Cass, look, I had an idea. I can just buy lots of these before we go on the boat. <clears throat> I've never heard your voice before. Is, it, oh, is that what, what I sounded like? 
what it sounds like in your head. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of her name. There's an actress who I can think of who I think is like an Indian, South Asian, older woman actress who has this very like low, rich voice. Not quite a raspy voice, but like very low pitched for a woman. Oh, I'm gonna, oh I wish I should have looked her up before. I could be like, go watch any of her movies. It's her voice. But yeah, it's a very like rich and like deeper, deeper tone than you would think given my lean, wiry frame. But yeah, that's what it would sound like. That's so cool. Do you think they maybe have versions that don't have alcohol in, so you're not like constantly drunk? <laughs> we already have one drunkard in the in the group. Oh. I look at it, and then the last thing you hear before I lose it is like, "Oh, I forgot. There's alcohol in this." <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could we could have got Tiger's shit face, and then their first thought been whatever like drunken thought that he has is like, "I need food." <laughs> 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 This, oh. That's a great idea. Does this place have kebabs? Make that jump, bro. <laughs> <laughs> kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are uh, you tagging along with them, Kai, to to chill uh, on the beach? I, will, I, will, I won't say no to a chili at the beach. Let's go to the beach and each. Let's go get a wave. And I would like before I leave, go by the the barkeep again and ask if they have travel marks or something. Travel what? Sorry. So you can travel mark so you can take your drink with you instead of having to drink it there. Oh, um plastic cups. Yeah, because they have like like beds and stuff on the beach, so they'll have they'll have stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. So they'll and Drinks they they also have so. like some tables. There's like a terrace kind of thing, but it's it's like a proper like beach pub kind of vibe. So there's there's like these beds that you can rent to light to light lay down. Uh and there's like waiters kind of walking down the first part of the beach where the beds are to kind of serve people there as well so you can definitely take a drink outside it's no problem that was more if, if i can take like you know in some shops you can just get a coke and you get the glass but if you ask for the can you can get the can mm -hmm. it's kind of if i can get a uh balls and prayers to go so i can give that to daigon or if she wants it during the beach yeah absolutely yeah okay i will uh do like an ale for myself and then a uh balls and prayers and then i will Take with me so I can give it to the to uh Dag in the moment we we leave. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that'll, how that'll much cost was you... it one more serving of it you said that you give me? Yeah. That'll okay. Be, uh, be like... Another five silver for just the thoughts and prayers. It's, it's a okay. cocktail, it's a little more expensive. Okay, sure. I will write it off. So yeah, I will do that and then we leave. I'm like, oh Dagen, I, got, I got this for you. Oh, so. thank you. Of so character, I put a link in the Twitch chat to what Daigon's voice sounds like. It sounds like the actress who has a very hard to type name. I'm talking about her things like Shore or Shreya Ag Agdashlu. Yeah, she, she's an Iranian actress, and that's the voice inspiration for what Daigon's voice would sound like. Cool. Or at least what it sounded like <clears> pre <throat> injury. But yes, and then back in character, I'll voice. just I'll just happily take. <laughs> the beverage from Kai and save it for later. Alrighty, so you guys head down to the beach. Anything you guys want to do while you're at the beach? Any anything in particular? To go I would like to build the biggest sandcastle possible. <laughs> I'm going in the ocean. Okay. I will. I'm tanning. I'm just soaking up like a cat uh, no, in the so, sun. Soak up the heat. This thing is a D and D Lilo, is there? But. Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll lie on the sand, and Onu will float on the surface of the sea and just kind of bob around and vibe. And oh, yeah. probably intimidate the local sea birds. <laughs> Big fucking bird. All right, I'm so yeah. I'm going to go um, back to the hotel room. I'm okay. going to get changed into my fucking swimming trunks. Hell yeah. And just fucking go lay on the beach for a bit. Alrighty. Again, I'll do that thing that we did last time when we came out, where the most I'm gonna see is just that little bit where I like rolled up my trousers, you know, up to like my knees. Yeah. yeah. Just sort you're of, going like, like proper like German tourist. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. Digging holes, rolling <laughs> when up. When he's le when he's least uh, expect it, I drag a lasher now into the sea. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> make, uh, make an athletics check, uh, Brooks. Well, he's gonna oh. he's gonna oh. beat me. Make a oh. uh, <laughs> athletics check. Acrobatics check. Uh, uh, I yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Seven. Just double check. I believe it's a plus ten to the. Yes. No matter what Brooks rolls in this natural one, he can beat me because I rolled a ten. 
No, I rolled with advantage and I shouldn't have because I'm not raging. And then just pick what it's a want. two, so that's a twelve total. Uh, you just and exactly. like grab Elazarum by the I'm arm. Like, oh, Brooks, 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 just, come on, Brooks. Don't, no, we're like at the beach. Just come slowly on, drag him into the water the with you. You've got to get to the no, no, at least let me take when you get to like the edge to where like you know he's like up to his calves in the water. You just. Oh, holy mouth! So he's not drowning. He starts drowning because of all still, the gold coins. Still getting pocket. thrown in the water and like when there's a wave, like Kel, you probably mistimed that shit. So I'm just like, oh. <laughs> we're gonna be on the sea. You best get used to it. I'm used to it. I just wanted to paddle a little bit, not go. Well, straight. now you can paddle, and you don't have to worry about getting wet. What do you mean? I'm soaked. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. <sighs> um, Jack. You go mm -hmm. about like you, you're you're building this like sandcastle. Yeah, I even you... use like my ray of frost cantrip to like sturdy up the base and stuff like that. Hell yeah! Yeah, Freeze I was gonna say you're gonna go we're going hard, super bro. over the top. Yeah, the, the like artificer in you is coming out, and you're like measuring <laughs> the weight of the base, and you're measuring like the angles of where the corners should be, and and how many degrees a certain bend is, and takes you a couple hours while the rest is kind of like you know meandering on the beach relaxing doing whatever but you oh. build one hell of a sandcastle dude for, for the first yeah, few dude. hours while he's building and I'm, I'm just tanning enjoying the sun for like the last hour can i look for shells on the beach and try and come up and put some pretty seashells in his castle like oh, either as like you... windows or decorations oh, yeah. or something the whole time the whole time you're like sunbathing kes is taking full advantage of the fact she doesn't have to breathe underwater and is just searching for pretty shells and stuff Nice. In the sea, and then it comes out with like an armful and just dumps them right next to you. And it goes <laughs> well, back and then, to you. I, I, I also would pick again. out my favorite ones that would look the nicest for Jax's castle. Like the ones that are the most similar in size and like symmetrical so that there's uniformity to like the windows and things we're going to use nice. them for. So now, does it actually. Doesn't actually take Jack's hours to build the sand castle, but every time Diane comes up to put a shell in, she just knocks it over. It just <laughs> just knocks it over. I'm gonna be going like so carefully, but he I'll puts it in now. really gently, and Jack's like, "You'll be Thanks. fine." And then as she turns away to go get more, Jack's just like it taking it out. And as you're kind yeah. of like, <laughs> as you're kind of like making it, making it, Jack, you're just like, yeah, with a couple of couple more hours and a couple of of twigs, could pro probably, and you're just thinking all, up all these ideas like, I could probably make like a drawbridge that actually functions if I really wanted to. Oh, I could probably do this and make like the super like dumbest, most advanced sandcastle ever. I'm legit but... now picturing what Ethan put in the <laughs> chat, like hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Is, that's uh, it. But yeah, you guys spend I'll, some time I'll at the beach. You, 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 you chill for a few hours, relax, I, socialize. Still, unless there's anything I, in particular that you guys want to do. What's Kai doing? What is Kai doing? I think I think Kai just in the beginning he was just starfish on the beach, <laughs> nice. soaking in the sun. And the moment he sees the whole structure Jax has built, he's because he gets his interest up and he's like looking a bit. He's like, "Would you mind if I help with a little bit of sturdiness?" Of course, if if you work on this area here, we could use a little bit more of a base, and then we can and get I, maybe a third floor into it. I would <laughs> like to try to cast entangle to mm -hmm. kind of wrap around the sand so it stays in place. Okay, so then gentle it, it, little then, vines yeah. instead of... Yeah, yeah. so like it just goes around. Kind of sprout out and just kind of yeah. grab around the base of the, the sand castle to kind of like act as an extra layer of foundation, yeah. yeah. Uh, next is... stand for a little bit. Next is masterpiece of this sand castle that's just like the shittest like half dug <laughs> hole. <laughs> that like a last one. Just kind of like digging a hole, man. This fucking what we just do, and it's just like when you think, mind. you know, when you think you've like dug like a huge hole, you're like, man, I've been here for ages. This is gonna be amazing, and it's like a foot. <laughs> it's like <laughs> enough for you to sit in. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm just gonna go for a swim. Hell yeah! So you, you you relax. At some point, uh, like one of the, the the servers will kind of like walk up to you, and this has been a few hours, and will offer you um, because obviously you're all well, barring uh, Kai, you're all guests at the establishment and and, and paid for uh, or like have rooms booked. So he's got like a reminder that um, they're about to open up their like restaurant area for uh, for lunch. If that's something that you guys want to do. Um, 
And yeah, unless like there's, there'll be a point in, of the day where you guys get your spa treatment, relax, get oh, clean, yeah. get a massage if uh, if you want to. Um, I'll get whatever the oh, maximum yeah. we can get. I'll treat everyone I'll to a maximum spa day, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. When you say maximum. Uh, no. So which one of you uh, goes for the like no. max spa treatment? Hell yeah. I can I can already Hell see yeah. Kai laying there and be like on the shelf. I have a hard spot over there. <laughs> Everyone else gets a massage with Kai. They get like a hammer and chisel out to take. The Belt sand or like a, a, a power sander. <laughs> they just start chiseling out the grooves on his shell to get all the gunk out. They start like it. waxing the shell. Like a surf. Like a surf. <laughs> Getting some of the like more grimy like. Uh, coral and, and stuff and moss that has been developing over the time, just like maybe not taking it off, but at least making it so that it's not gross anymore. You know what I mean? You don't want to <laughs> be standing behind Kai after this because it's just gonna be like a shining fucking like <laughs> mirror now of a shadow. Like, Jesus. Um, if <laughs> you got a, like a big, a big bill, big order, I'm expecting Owen's getting some treatment here as well. All right, like. Well, like the the high rollers, you know, we come in, yeah, spend a lot like, of money. The, 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 the bird's got to like, get some. They'll like pluck the, you know, like take the little feathers that are kind of like coming in, you know, mm -hmm, they'll, they'll make mm -hmm, sure that mm -hmm. those are all good and give and them a little. You know, give them some good scratches. Give them some scratches. Some uh, yep. That'll sit you back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 35 gold, uh, Jax. For the full, Damn. the God, full, the full package. Yeah, bro. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> now I'm under a thousand gold. Shit. Oh no! What yeah. the fuck? Whatever will you do? Yeah, Jax is. I sold everyone shit to throw my bag, bro. That's my money now. <laughs> That's true. You fucking did do that, huh? Yeah, and you're gonna watch it happen. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you guys kind of spend some some more time after spa time to just chill for a bit. Um, oh, yeah. Evening slowly comes in. Uh, you all. Get offered uh, the, the the dinner menu for the for the night, which is the same exact shit as they served yesterday. Um, unless there's anything specific you lot want to do um, over dinner I would like and to drinks order after number six, seven, and eight. Sorry, I would like to order drinks number. I think thoughts I forgot, and prayers was five, right? Left off. No thoughts and prayers was no, thoughts and prayers was sixty nine. Sixty nine. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers is number sixty nine. Oh, okay. What, what was number five? Let I'll me let me quickly have a look. See, let me just whip up the, the page real quick. I think you got to four. I can't remember if I did. You never drank. You never had a two. One hundred mm -hmm. yeah, signature tavern drinks. Here we go. Uh, number five. You have not had yet. Number four. You also haven't had yet. Another five. A number four. A number five. And a number six. Throughout the night. So you get a moxie. Uh, a drink that Boxy. everybody in the tavern that sees your order is like, oh, it's amazing. It's the best drink you'll ever have. And you drink it, and it's disgusting. It's, it's gross. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, you also get a bog grog, uh, a mix of rum, orange juice, and fermented herbs that, uh, when drunk, so you 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 drank it, uh, you gain advantage on saving throws against being poisoned for the next 30 minutes. So, you know, Ooh. have that. Drink uh, this. It makes it hard to just get drunk. Yeah. Not being poisoned, you know what I mean? Like, I... Alcohol is a poison. I guess so. Um, you Sorry, also get a mind. frost mead, um, which is... Uh, it's a shot, but it's... Uh, there's honey in it and the tear of an ice giant, um, which causes your your breath to feel very icy. And every time you open up your mouth, mouth, there's like this like blue like sparkle of like like sparks coming out whenever you open your mouth. That'll last you for like you know a couple hours. It's pretty strong. Uh, I make every effect. opportunity I can to blow blue smoke into Lazarus' face. <laughs> so now here's the question: How do they make the How do they make the frost giant cry? <laughs> they didn't cherish him. That's a good question. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is he in the mo is he an emotional creature? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Really big onions. <laughs> <laughs> um, or is it a really loads? big table to stub his toe on. <laughs> I would like to ask if they have any chance of three halflings in a trench coat. Three halflings <laughs> in a trench coat? It's three shot glasses just in a tall glass, but like you drink. 
No, I can I can send you the recipe if you want that. Yeah, hit me with that, hit me with that. Hit me with that. Yeah. I'm curious now, hold on. Be halflings in a trench coat. Contains... I thought you were making the reference to the uh, NPC last campaign. Yeah. There was three uh, co uh, uh, kobolds, right? Three halflings in a trench coat is a homebrew fighter class that Bell played when we played. Yeah, Bell played in a one shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. The cat. Well, there were three kobolds in a trench coat too back last campaign. Yeah, yeah, that was. Three halflings in a trench coat. I think. One ounce of white rum, one ounce of dark rum, one ounce of yeah. dark yeah. rum, lime juice, oh, grapefruit cool juice, honey oh syrup. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds lit, actually. What the fuck? I think I got this from. Uh, that either sounds really good or terrible. <laughs> There is no it is well there's known. No it's that's a well known fact like, that there's a little more terrifying or confusing than the combined might of three halflings in a trench coat it's coming at coming right at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, yes, they'll, they'll, if if Kai like it's not on their menu, but if Kai like gives them the rundown of of, of what what's in it, they'll happily make it for you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll get you trolleyed. Kai, Kai, Kai will just be sipping. Alrighty. Well, if we're at the drinking part of the, this is post spa, like we're just yeah. chilling. Yeah. Uh, I'll just write on a piece of paper to Jax. If I bought a significant amount, like liquor bottles, could I put them in the bag of holding? But they have to be just for me. You have to promise not to get rid of them, unless we need the space. Um, how many is a significant amount? Uh, right back. Whatever. They'll sell me, and then I go. Wait a minute, this is faster. And I take out the one extra drink that has some sort of cork on it the, that uh, Kai bought me, mm -hmm. and drink the thoughts and prayers. And then Jax, you hear again in your head, voice never heard before, say, "I want to see how many of this drink the bar will sell me, so that I can actually talk to you guys when I need to." Uh, and again, it's a very, very deep, uh, husky voice. But not in a but but in like a way that's like weirdly pleasant. So Jax is a little taken aback. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, because that's weird. Voice. And then and when, I, when I see you jump, I just I just go oh, like face, and then I, I wave and point at myself as it as the thoughts ah, finishing up. Um, yeah, yeah, we could see how many bottles we can fit. Um, let me see how much stuff I already have in you there. Can put and then, my before you, you, before you... it runs out, I run up to the bar where I can still think because I don't know the barkeep. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she might actually. She probably does know sign language. Actually, she I'll, go to, the, she I'll go to the goblin who knows yeah. sign language, and I can ask, like, what are the odds you could sell me some of that in bulk for the road? Um, how much is bulk? How much? How much are you willing to part with? Well, we have we ways of carrying we, we, it. We don't have them pre-bottled, so that would mean that I would have to make oh. a lot and bottle it for you, which. I'm down to do, but I just need to know how much you're, you know, how many, how many portions, we'll say, how many would you want? How many portions are in, like, because we're talking little, like, you know, like, vials, or are we talking, like, wine bottles? Because I was going to try and buy, like, a case, like, a case of wine bottles, but of this drink, basically. Uh, a, a wine bottle size, like, yeah. size bottle filled with this so stuff. So multiple servings Probably in a be... It normally gets served in a pretty big glass, like I'd say like three or four. Like we'll okay. say four. We'll say four per wine bottle. Yeah, and maybe just buy like a case. Which how much how many bottles are normally in a case of wine? Twelve, sixteen? Six, anywhere anywhere so from eight to sixteen. Oh, over here is different. On the size. Okay, I'm gonna at, then say uh this is traditionally twelve. Well, yeah, so I'm gonna okay. ask for, uh, and I'll just quickly draw out like the a, like a box with divided into twelve, like I've seen before mm -hmm. at like fans and be like one of these, please, but of that drink. Um, I can do that. Do you need them right now, or can I do it? No. You know, after we close up, and then I'll just I take can the time pick to them do up it. tomorrow. Okay, yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, I'll give you the uh, special flower discount. Um, hey. appreciate it. It's five silver per portion, four of them go into a bottle, so normally a bottle would be two gold, so times twelve, that would be twenty-four. I'll give them to you for fifteen. Excellent. Right, uh, I'll make sure gold. that this uh, this this case know. is ready for you in the morning. I'll go back to Jackson, it's right in the paper. I bought one case. It'll have twelve bottles. I'll pick it up tomorrow. And if it's too much trouble, if it needs to be moved, I can always put <clears> some in Kessa's vessel if she's cool with it. I have two. One of them's an entire beach. 
What's great is that you write that down, but as you're writing it, you're thinking it, so we hear it anyways. I, I think it's worn <laughs> off by now. It's only five minutes, and I had probably a five-minute conversation with the bartender plus Jax walking over, so it's probably gone. Alrighty. Um, it's not funny. <laughs> as you uh, kind of, like, have some drinks, more people come into the tavern, including... Uh, the three sisters, or the three tiefling uh, owners of, of the magic shop, they, they sit down at a table, have some drinks as well. A um, couple more people. Uh, you, wait, who was it that went to talk to the general of this uh, city? Was that Elazarin that went to talk to the Goliath general of the Blue Sentinels that, that's stationed here? Uh, I, last week? I think, yeah. I did. I think Jax did. One of you got, went to talk about the slums and stuff with this guy. It's one of you. Oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you recognize yeah. him. He's also coming in for uh, for a few drinks. Uh, he's not wearing his plate mill or anything. He's just wearing some, like, casual clothing. So you reckon he's probably, you know, done with his shift. And he's he's, he's having a drink. And he sits down at a table. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, the evening starts to get a little busier. Um, is there anything you wish to do before we just kind of call this day of relaxation to an end and go to the next day? If they let me, I will go and socialize with the the three sisters. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. If you do, uh, they'll they'll happily make room for you, and they they you know happy, cheery, and and giddy was it? I believe. Yes. Ah, it's fun news. They um, talk your ear off, constantly just yapping over each other, and they look the exact same. They sound the exact same, like triplets, blue tieflings. Uh, is there anything like do they wear or or do anything that distinguishes them like uh make an investigation check because you're pretty close to them you can kind of like have a proper proper I'll look win these uh 16 there's one thing that sets them apart which you didn't notice last time you talked to them because you were just at the shop doing you know haggling and whatnot is that they wear necklaces that are cool. that are their names around their neck so that's okay. the only thing telling him apart. Cute. Okay. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I'll be charming and make small talk and uh know. there'll be there'll be a point where they'll be like, So um have you and your friends considered our uh, little offer of uh you know helping us out in exchange for uh, some some store credit? Yeah, I mean I mean we you know, we, we said earlier that we were gonna finish off what needed doing today and then head out tomorrow so mm -hmm. i think everyone's fairly on board with that you know you're likable people and it's not a bad deal yeah, i noticed you you picked up another comrade that uh, we haven't met yet but if he's also in on the uh, on the package deal we'll gladly dish out the same you know equal reward for for him as well if he's if he's going to help you i have no idea yet he may or may not but all right well just um Come see us in the morning, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll finalize details. Uh, if this is still something you're interested in, if not, I would still appreciate you come down to the to the shop just to let us know, so we can look for somebody else to potentially do it for us. I would assume, unless anything changes, that we will be coming to take up the job. Okay. But if not, how could I say no to coming and visiting anyway? <laughs> All three of them will like look at you and like. You're talking to Cheery right now, and like Happy and Giddy will just kind of do this like very childish ooh as 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 Cheery is like and she's like um yeah that's fine. <laughs> right, well then, um, who's is it? My round next? I lost track. No idea. I kind of stopped counting. Right, well, it's fucking my round then, I guess, because I mentioned it. <laughs> And I will go get more drinks. And oh, yeah. I will, for as long as they want to drink with me, I'll get blasted. Yeah, they'll they're down. The they'll they'll drink with you. Like, do you just kind of like sit with them for for until they're like, yeah, we're done for the night, kind of thing, or do you? Yeah, basically. Okay, yeah. Until they're like, yeah, we're going home. See you later. They'll they'll stay there until like like eleven p.m. So they'll be there for like two three hours drinking, uh, and then they they get up and thank you for uh, for the company and. Uh, do they sway as they leave? Have they drunk? They're a little, they're, they're, they're a little like, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not, they're definitely not sober anymore. Sorry? How much have I spent? We'll say uh, the, t the typical cocktail there. Like, were, were you doing ones. cocktails or were you doing just like ales and that sort of shit? I'm counting this as part of my doing the three fucking cocktails that I picked. 
Okay, okay, okay. So if you say you bought three for yourself and three for them as well, so they're five silver a pop, yeah. so that's 12 times. So six gold would have been your, cool. uh, your total damage. But they've also been buying rounds, so at this point I'm wankered. Yes. All right. With that, unless there's anything else anyone wants to do, we'll say that, um, Kai, are you inquiring about, like, a place to stay in this establishment for the night? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, um, th that'll set you back. Fuck, what did I charge you guys last time again? I didn't write it down. Fuck. I didn't write it down either. It all got bundled together because the last one was paying for it. Yeah, we bundled. Yeah. It did. Yeah. It's a pretty, like, it's like a touristy pricey joint, so, uh, for, for a single room... Like a silver. Single room, uh... Five silver for the nights will we'll do you over. Um, I will uh, slide five silver. Yeah, and they'll uh, give you a key. And then uh, I know this is a little earlier than normal, but since you're all you know doing our long rest thing, yeah. we'll uh, we'll take our break here. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. I haven't rolled a cigarette yet. Well, let's fucking speed run it. Uh, we'll take I'll our take break here, problem. and we'll pick this up in the morning the next day, your final day off before the porcupine arrives for uh, mm. whatever it is that you end up doing. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, gamer gang. See you in a bit. Gamer. See you in a bit. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So that's the biggest loser. Hello. Yeah. Yo, yo, right. yo. What's going on, yo. gamers? We're back. Ugh, oh, dude. We're here. Chaos crew. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking around through our break. We appreciate it. Um, let's just fucking get right back into it. So, you lot uh, awaken the next day after a long rest. Um, relatively early in the morning, like like 9, 10-ish. Uh, another full day of, of doing whatever it is that you decide to do before you're uh, supposed to meet with the rest of the crew of Captain Vera and Captain Vera herself aboard the Porcupine. Um... Unless there's anything that you guys want to do separately, you kind of, like, all gather downstairs. Oh! I just want to grab my cask of... My cask of thoughts and prayers. It's a weird sentence. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's ready, what I'm going to do is take shit. one of the bottles, and I'm going to decant one serving into one of my empty vials left over okay. from a potion, and mm -hmm. keep one on my belt at all times to use, and the rest will be in the bag of holding, and then as I use it, I'll just, well, whenever we rest, like, keep it topped up, and I'll keep track of how many... You said it's four servings per bottle? Yes. And I have 12 bottles? Okay. Yes. Cool. Just let me know then, when you go through a bottle so I can mark it off on the back. Holding. Yes. Yeah. And I will, um, when Jax wakes up, I will present him with the box. And we talked about it so he knows what it is. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. So you all kind of gather downstairs. Um, there's a couple of patrons having breakfast already. A variety of uh, freshly baked breads and, and cakes and that sort of thing. With, uh, you know, your, your average breakfast foods. I would like to grab a breakfast to go. And dip out and go to the uh, the forge. Okay. Go we'll see if my project is ready. Yeah. So you approach uh, oh, the yeah. forge, um, and you can see the Durgar, um, the, the the dark skinned dwarf with the fiery eyes and hair. Um, he he looks at you. Good morning. Uh, Good timing. We uh, just finished your uh, custom order about uh, an hour ago. Uh, the, the finishing touches on it, so it's ready for you to take with you. Perfect. Um, absolutely grand. Uh, I believe I owe you the second half of payment. That is correct. I will pay up. I can't remember exactly what it was. I just paid the total amount on my character sheet at the, at the start. So. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So he'll he'll take the money and he'll he'll hand you your like custom. It was another five gold. Your custom made like uh like lantern type vibe and uh, he'll kind of run you through. Yeah, right. So you, you can open up this latch and and put whatever it is. Uh, I think it was a gemstone uh, that you said you wanted to put in it. Um, just put it in. Um, light will shine through these uh glass um windows of it and uh obviously uh it's a lantern i don't have to explain to you how it works right you uh, you you'll, you'll figure it out no yeah i gathered and you just use the gem as normal but it's got the yeah yeah i mean it, it, we made it so that you know if you want to create light in a more normal 
fashion with like candles or whatever that'll fit too um so it's not just made for the uh, the gemstone you mentioned but uh it, it's you can also use it uh, with with normal uh, like candles or or there's even a little 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 basin in there where you can put some oil in and put a wick in and you'll have some kind of like oil lantern as well it, it works it, it it functions with any light source really Perfect, okay. Well, um, I'm gonna put that right at the fucking bottom of my bag. <clears throat> Alrighty. And I will head back. Yeah. So you head back and you can see that the rest of the, the, the crew is, uh, you know, finishing up their breakfast as well. Uh, yeah, what do you guys do? We'll sit back down as if nothing happened. Alright. Are we going to do that thing for those those women? That thing for those. Yeah, women. we're uh, going to finish breakfast up and then head over, I guess. And how long does it usually take to send a letter? Depends it where depends. you're sending the letter to and how much wait, you paid. Wait, wait, wait. How long does it take to send a letter, or how long does it take to deliver a letter? Deliver. Depends. Then it depends entirely how long a distance it's going, unless you use magic or... No, I don't. Mm. I mean, if you go to any sort of postal service, they will usually have different options for you. One where they can magically teleport where it needs to go to, and others where they will try and ship it across to where it needs to be. Mm -mm. Past that, <laughs> depends where it's going, really. To the mainland? Not too long. Mm, no. A little bit further than that. Very wild? Yeah. You might need a specialist you're, for that. You're going to need someone. Yeah. I already, I already have. My, also, my, then, my... the question of time gets very strange. Yeah. That's true. But is it too early now to check if it's gone? Do you want to give the indication that you're super invested in when this letter arrives? Mm. Would you like to just elaborate on the whole situation and maybe we can... No. I know how much my you dad's... hate doing that. But... <laughs> my, my dad's delivering a letter to me to my mom. Causing a lot of friction. I really want to know what happened, but I only like gave it to him the day before yesterday. I just signed a kiss. Is that why you borrowed the paper from me? Yeah. And not. It's like you know, we can get you your own journal for nah, things if you think it's going to be a frequent occurrence. Is he hand delivering it? I think so. Wait, yeah, your dad's like a fucking riot. <laughs> I would assume he can get there pretty quick. Right, that's what I would think. But also, but you do haven't I heard any though. Yet. Well, this one's a nervous. Is he might not have gone straight away either. He could still just be, mm. you know, lounging about. But he could have literally just poofed himself straight away. It could be done. That's what I'm saying. But also, it right. might not be done. Why lounge around when you can just go? And you'll be well, there. Exactly. That's why you would lounge around. Because you think, I can do this whenever I want. I don't have to do it right this second. Did he I? seem like <laughs> no, no, hold, no, this is literally exact, exact moment. This is how I deal with important tasks in real life every single day. It's like, <laughs> I could do it right now. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> but, yeah. but why it's that, But am I going to? And we're like, it's like <laughs> I got to do this laundry by tomorrow. But that means getting out of my bed. And it's my day yeah. off. So. I that's could do it at 4 a.m. me today. I'm because I'm leaving yep. for like two weeks tomorrow. I'm like, I could make sure that like all my stuff is done and my my place is tidy today. But I was like, nah, I'm doing other shit today. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll wake up like an hour before I have to go tomorrow and just do it then. Fuck it, you know. Hell yeah. <laughs> make sure to empty your bin before you leave. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. Um, so I mean, head off then? Yeah, the only yeah. way you're going to find out is to ask, so. Yeah. 
but I don't I don't know if I want to know yet. Well, then you don't have to ask yet. Right. Yeah, okay. Until you know anyway. if you want to know, and then you ask. Then you'll think, I actually want to know once you find out. No, no. <laughs> this isn't helpful at all. Well, that's been yeah, my past we... experience so far of learning things. But more importantly, big magic item bounty. Yes. I want to get some cool shit. I signed a Kess. Are, are, are we taking the new guy? Has anyone told him? Is the new guy with us? Is he woke up? Yeah, where is he? Right Hello, I, I leave it up to him. Kai, you, you wake up and you see the rest of the people that you met uh, sitting at a table. So if you want to join them. I will probably just walk up and mind if I sit with you. I nod yes. So she does. So she does nod. So you. Like I, I nod <laughs> yes, but like face is smiling, and I, I like scooch over, implying that you can sit there. I will take that as yes, you can sit. Okay. I will so, just also have a bit of food. So how rude of us? I'm sitting like this because you're very large. You can sit. I will. I will, I will, I will sit a bit of Actually, I can sit anywhere. Yeah. I have. No <laughs> <way>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like you zoom over, but Kai, because of his like sh sh big shell, he takes up yeah, a lot of space, man. Like, he's uh, <laughs> like sits down and like the the bench that he's sitting on like barely holds up his weight. It's like it's really it's really ooh, he's pushing the boundaries of that the bench. Boy. <laughs> hey Kai, do you want to come kill stuff with us? It might not be killing. What, we are doing. What's we're doing this stuff. Killing anything? We're investigating. Uh, in Guys. We're gonna kill something. We are not. in. We're going to go investigate what happened to I'm someone missing. who has been out of contact, and the reward of going and finding out is magic items. Are you in? If you say it like that, yeah. Cool. Remind me. Easy, Sal. Okay, hold on. Before we embark, only dog, or only bird, only dog, right? Probably the yeah. Sort of deal. I mean, it might be good to have a look. I don't know, but. So is any dog? We could always send well, then... uh, a, a fucking a man. What? Uh, uh, um... Arthur. Arthur one. Uh, you call him Eggman. You forgot you his name? Oh, I heard Eggman. Oh, what? He's not an Eggman. <laughs> you know what they say! <laughs> Imp sprite. Take this! Yes, take this. <laughs> as long as his sense of direction isn't as bad as his aim. I will turn Onu into a dog. Yeah, uh, you do just kind of like go to the beach and just build a little fire and do your do your thing. No, I'll do it get in yelled off make oh, it. Oh, you just do it in tavern, okay? Like the beach. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna give you some like room to like make it epic and flavor it. But okay, mm, all right. Um, yeah, so, oh. yeah, so Onu, Onu, kind of like you see Onu. Um, Got a heart. Just his his shape changes and uh, it's now back to. Well, for you, Kai, it's the first time you see it, but uh, for the rest of you, you, you see Onu turn into his, like, painted dog form. He's a beauty. Okay. He's, a, he's a beauty? Yeah, he's a beauty. Right. That's yeah. a, I will I, give, I I will give say Doggo <laughs> Onu some, some pats. Onu just kind of, like, some pat. does this thing where, um, you know, like, dogs, like, kind of, like, shake their head as... Uh... I'll, I will grab a little sausage from my plate and... See... Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll go for it. Snap that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> and he then That's... kind of does some like, you know, does some like stre some like doggo stretches, kind of like getting accustomed to being in this form again after being a bird for a while. Just kind of, uh, uh, just, uh. and then he just kind of sits by, uh, by your table. I mean, does a stretch? We all just like that's a big stretch for such a little boy. <laughs> <Big stretch. laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, painted dogs are baby also him? quite quite sizable, dog. right? It doesn't uh, matter what the size of the dog is; it's still such a big stretch okay, for such a little I'm boy. Sorry. God! <laughs> Fucking god, big god, Irish wolf you're like who's got a little stretch? <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake! We're all just feeding Onu under the table. Oh, yeah, oh, they come out the size of a 500 pound. Well, actually, no, Pink dogs are actually not that big. They're pretty, uh, pretty small. I mean, they're wild dogs. They're pretty big. But, uh, oh, they're. Man, they're endangered. Did you know that? No. Oh, no. the dogs endangered. are endangered. Rip. 
Oh, the host doesn't the only one on the Well, Ono's always in danger when he's with Davian, but... <laughs> yeah, of that one bad performance. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just googled painted dog and, like, the little thing showed up and it's like, Population endangered. Oh. Oh. Sad. Oh, hello, guys. Population one. Well, on that note, wild I'm dog just... in general is one of the world's most endangered animals. Oh, there you go. No. So domesticated. They they they're about two to two and a half foot off the ground. Okay. Alrighty. Like like probably about the same size as a large domestic dog. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Not a wolf, but good German Lord. shepherd. They are the same size yeah. as Trim. Oh my god. <laughs> Trim was very tiny though. <laughs> um, okay. okay. She could look Onu in the eye now. and just reach out. She could ride Onu. Head. Crossover needs to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> and she can talk to him because she's a druid. True. Anyway. Um, all right. So you guys finish up your breakfast. Uh, do you guys head to the three sisters? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Magic shop. All right. Uh, as you arrive, uh, it's Giddy this time around. She's uh, on the morning shift. Good morning. Oh, it's Giddy. Necklace. Good morning. Uh, here's a seat your problem. Right. Um, that is perfect. Uh, one more thing. Um, we, we discussed your reward being a magic item anywhere up to a max of uh, 500 gold in value, but we, me and my sisters, we had a, a bit of a talk and we decided that it might be easier for you lot to just allocate you 500 gold in store credits each instead so that you can just kind of spend it on whatever you like if you want to pull some of the money together you can um but also you don't have to feel forced to make a decision now and it's just you know redeemable whenever cool is that uh would that be easier for you for you guys yeah. sounds fine to me mm -hmm. all right um, so i haven't met uh this individual yet uh did you, who are you uh, are you are you uh, oh, doing hello. them? My name is Kai. Uh, nice to meet you. I think I think it's the plan that I join them. Yeah, just had a little talk about breakfast. All right. And... Have you uh, been caught up with what uh, what it exactly is that you're doing? Helping someone to get rewards. That I guess I suppose that covers it. Um, follow me. We'll we'll take you to our teleportation circle, and uh, it'll it'll teleport you into. The tower right away, and I'll, I'll I'll brief you on what it is you're you're going to be doing uh, while we're there. Um, and she kind of like guides you to uh, to the upstairs, uh, like the living space of of uh, where the three sisters where they live. Uh, and there's this one What's room. What's decor like? There's there's this one room. Well, sorry, what? What's the decor like? Um, very like just anything and everything. There's no real like style. It's just. A bunch of shit they collected over the years that they thought looked pretty, and is they just kind like of. Is it like a show of hoarders? Sorry. Is it like hoarders? No, it's not yeah, that we'll bad, but it's other. just like things okay. are it's, displayed. It's three different and like people's pieces, tastes living in the same space. Pieces of fur. Yeah, it's mm. three people's like tastes, kind of all mixed and mashed together. So you know, like the couch doesn't Fun. match the like bookshelves or whatever the fuck. Like it's all very just like kind of yeah. Uh, you get led into this uh, smaller room where there's like this chalk, this chalk circle on the floor with a bunch of runes and and other things uh, prepared. So what it is you're doing is uh, you're going to be transported to Halivara's tower. Halivara is uh, an artificer that lives in a tower about a day's march from here. He um, supplies us with uh, most of our magical things that we sell. Um, we have a good contract with him. He normally brings a shipment uh, of goods once a week. Uh, and, you know, comes to check in with us uh, on a weekly basis, but we haven't seen him for about two weeks now, which is out of the norm. We've tried to reach out, reach out to him with uh, magical means, you know, a sending spell and things like that. Um, haven't heard anything, so we would like it if you um, check out, see what happened, and see if you can find Halivara or, or some clue of, of his whereabouts, and um, just report back with what you find, really. Uh, as for transportation goes, um, we'll, we'll be able to, or I'll be able to teleport you there using this teleportation circle. Um, if you find Halifara and he's okay, he can teleport you back instantly. If not, uh, well, uh, 
I say a day's march. It'll probably if you if it's like five six hours of, of marching back to town. But uh, okay, if all but... goes well, you'll be able to just be teleported back right away. Mm. Sounds good. Fully depends on what you find, really. No, oh, no time like the present, really, is there? Sorry. No time like the present. All right, yeah. If you're all ready, would you just uh, please step into the circle and um, just hold your, hold each other's hands, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll make sure that you. Get transported uh, safe and sound. Into the circle we go. All right, and she'll begin casting some incantations, and all of your vision kind of just goes black for a second, uh, and then you kind of like hold each other. You you open up your eyes and you see each other like kind of like floating in this like space. Uh, you can see in the far distance the interior of the room that you were just in, kind of fading away. You look around you and you see this this like like sea of stars and 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 when you look down just more stars you're you're literally as if you're like floating in space but you see it, when you look to your right you can see that there's this other uh you know, like space coming closer and closer and as it gets closer you you start to see some form of semblance of like an interior and you blink and suddenly you appear in a uh, circular room, walls are made of gray brick and a floor lined with uh, metal, with like a metal covering. Uh, you look around, you see some desks around with paperwork of, uh, of, of various like, like old plans and designs. And you look up to the ceiling and you can see that there is this like faint blue arcane field kind of just like covering the entire ceiling. Uh, as you arrive, uh, you get approached by a 15-foot-tall construct, body and legs made of intricate silver with all kinds of runes carved in. Arms are connected to the body, uh, but kind of like float uh, separately. Uh, but there's like where where like the elbows and the shoulders would be. There's these purple crystals making it making it whole, but kind of there's definitely some gaps in between. Uh, upper torso of the construct is connected to the lower torso by a similar crystal, and the head of the construct is designed to be directly attached to the torso, making it look like it has no neck. Uh, the faceplate of the construct, the part you see is like this T-shape. Uh, the purple crystals that you see on this on this thing constantly spark with blue crackles of lightning, and the runes in the body glow in a similar blue color. Uh, it approaches you, just kind of... You have entered the home of Halivara, greatest inventor of all planes. My name is Tower Arcane Guardian, TAG for short, unit number 005. I have to warn you that the tower right now is in a state of peril. All constructs present in the vicinity have gone hostile. I have not heard <gasps> from Master Halivara in 15 days, 6 hours and 37 minutes. I have not been affected by this because I was in a basement when the malfunction occurred. Basement is lined with a special barrier to protect this floor from any malfunctions or other magical effects that could potentially do harm to the master or his creations. Unfortunately, he wasn't present in the basement when it happened. And he just kind of stands there idly looking at you. Jax, um, you're up. Yeah, this is all you, big man. Hello. Uh, do you have tools for us to uh, help? What kind of tools would you require? Anything we need to know to, to dismantle the constructs? I am unfortunately not sure if I can help you with this. Master's Workshop is located further up in the tower. Um, you'll be able to reach it by turning off the magical barrier guarding the top of the stairs by inputting the following passphrase in the tile pad on the wall next to the door. Tile number 7910235. Five five zero one. Would you like me to repeat? Got it. Yeah. I wrote Got it down. Zero or er, seven nine one zero two three five five zero one. Would you like me to repeat? I got it. Got it. Okay. I got it. No, someone has it because I missed it twice. <laughs> I got it. It's I got fine. It. I got it. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh, thank you, and stay on standby to uh, receive broken constructs. I'll remain downstairs until Master Halifara tells me otherwise. We... Can, can we ask this thing where it last detected Halivara? Where was your master last located? As far as I'm aware, he was last seen in his workshop 
a few floors above this one, creating what he called Project Number 734501 Blue Sentinel Commission. Oh. Are there any constructs in the workshop? You'll find various constructs spread throughout the tower. I'm afraid they've made a bit of a mess of the place. All right. Would this thing maybe know if the other creations have some kind of weakness built in in case of a scenario like this? Is there any kind of um, self-destruct button? Or oh, the, the activation is probably better. I do not possess this information, I'm afraid. Oh. Could you please tell us about Project 734501 Blue Sentinel Commission? Accessing files, please hold. And you'll hear this like like faint humming coming from the construct. <laughs> Is that just dial-up noise? Is that the modem noise? Files found. <laughs> This particular commission was made by the Blue Sentinels in Eldilon. It is meant to be some kind of animated armor, but different. Master described it as a 15-foot tall construct that can be controlled by a soldier on the inside to prove more efficient Iron in battle. Man. My boy building mech suits. Mech suit. Oh, I need mecha. To a bitch. Get fucked, I'm a better inventor. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't see <laughs> your tower. <laughs> Sorry, sweet. I'll oh, be the... Bring my fucking tower in a second. Bend over. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Surprise guest appearance from Sodium Sweet to the uh, Halavara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hit my spells today. <laughs> my greatest creation. <laughs> <laughs> My dice are not rolling. You have any more questions or inquiries? Out of curiosity, I'll just sign. Can you see me and understand this at the robot and see if the robot knows sign language? No reply. Or if it reacts at all. Okay. No reply. I thought so. Um, <laughs> it like tilts its its torso to face you, but then like doesn't reply to you. Oh, yeah. okay. What was your master's first creation? <laughs> I'm afraid I do not possess his information. Maybe try finding Tower Arcane Guardian, tag for short, unit number 001. Wait, you're not 001? I'm 005. My mistake. Maybe let's crack on and we can ask. Can we uh, can are there ask any later? like journals laying around? Uh, <laughs> okay, do you want to just have a look around what you see uh, on like the desk? Because yeah. there's, there's some paperwork. What you see is... Yeah, kind of um, through some stuff. What you see on the on the desk is at first glance is like various like half made blueprints and plans of just things that Halivar probably like had an idea, wrote it down, started working on it, scrapped it to work on something else. It seems that there's a lot of just like half finished plans and stuff uh, spread around the place. All right. Um, well, there's nothing very useful here. I think we just need to go upstairs. Yeah. All right, I'll lead the way. Oh, I'll activate my armor too. Wait, you or, said there's yeah. paperwork oh, down here? Yeah, just, just a bunch like of like half-finished half finished, like plans and blueprints of, oh. of projects that he once started but never finished. Okay. All right, I'll call I want to be keeping an eye out for any paperwork from the Blue Sentinels that okay. maybe talks about this commission. And I want right. to yoink it if I see it. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm going to slip on my knuckle dusters. All righty. Make so you guys head towards the staircase to, to leave. Yeah. Right before uh, you get to the door, you kind of like, you can see that like access to the door is cut off by this like force fields, but you do see like this like pad of like different looking colored tiles in the floor. Very just like d, &D version of like a number pad, essentially. Um, I guess this is where we input the code. Yeah. Are the numbers at all on any of these? Like, they are, they're just they, are counting. they are numbered, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I'll, like, I'll go put in, punch in seven nine one zero two three five five zero one. <coughs> Excuse me, I choked on my own breath. <coughs> Explode. <coughs> Everybody dies. Such an allergic to breathing. <laughs> Fucking hell. Rocks fall. 
uh, as you input that uh, that passphrase or that Gold code into into the the device, the blue arcane field powers down, and now you have access to the door. Sweet, I'll open it up and uh, take a little look. All right, are you uh, as you open up the door, uh, you find yourself in like a corridor uh, that leads to a set of double doors. I will check the corridor for traps. Make an investigation check. How dark is it in this place? Um, it, it is lit up, uh, not by torches or anything, but there's these like crystals embedded in the wall that just emit uh, a bright, um, like yellowish, Wait, yellowish light. Yellow. Does vigilant blessing last even after a rest? It lasts or is it until gone? I use it again, or you roll an initiative. Cool. It's so fucking it. good. That's awesome. Yeah. I still have um, What did you roll, it's... Soko? Uh, 16. 16? As far as you can tell, there's no traps, no? Okay. I'll just walk through and uh, open up the double doors then. All right. And as you open up the double doors, you see a room in ruins. Once beautiful living oh. space of the tower completely ransacked by three uh, constructs. Constructs share the same silver and blue color scheme of the big units you guys found downstairs, but are much smaller and more fine in size. Instead of bulky limbs, these are made of like thin silver plating engraved with similar arcane runes. Um, furniture is destroyed, tapestries on the wall torn to pieces. Uh, anything that was once part of the interior of this room is completely smashed. As soon as you enter the room, they just, all three of them simultaneously say, motion detected, extermination protocol activated. And I would like for you to roll oh. initiative. My favorite okay. protocol. Motion okay. detected. I love that protocol. Motion. Motion. Boom. Battle map time, baby. <laughs> Skirt. Woo. I love having a minus two. Is garbage. Even yeah, with advantage. Wrong. I rolled two single still. digits. <laughs> Their hey. vision is based on movement. <laughs> hey. Do, 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 do. hey, Laura, I guess so. I also <laughs> I rolled, I rolled advantage well because my sword. I also rolled two single digit numbers. <laughs> so you and me, man. Uh, was a dog, right? So Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this! Look at the custom! Oh. Look at the custom Davian! Look at him! There is an actual custom Davian, Davian figure token, now. guys! Looks sick! Yo! Oh, he's literally, literally holding a fire emoji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty! That's pretty lit. Uh, let's get into some heckin' oh, initiatives. Let me quickly roll for the... The robots. The robots? Eat boop robot man. Uh, let me grab their stats as well. That could probably be helpful, right? Yeah, it's probably helpful. Oh, I think they all have one HP, right? Uh, AC, AC one, HP one. Easy cut. You're close. AC forty two, so the HP is irrelevant unless you oh. have magic missile. Yep. Um. She would be funny as fuck. Alrighty, initiatives twenty plus, please. Twenty two. Twenty two. Hold on, just quickly. Turn based mode. Ah. Uh, so 22 is the highest, Brooks? Mm-hmm. Right. Anyone else 20 plus? Question. Hello. If I have familiar roles, it's own initiative, right? Or does it? Uh, it should say in your spell. Familiars do, yeah. Familiars yeah, do. Where's Onu do? No, he's different. Onu's not a familiar. Oh. Familiars will have their own initiative, yeah. I believe. Fami oh, find okay. familiar, familiars. I didn't familiars prepare. Uh, wait, you're you're fucking familiar as a parrot, right? It is a parrot. Yeah. I, mean, I, have, I have a goose, so we'll take a goose token. I have a here, so we'll take a goose. Honk, honk. <laughs> honk. Uh, 15 to 20, anyone? Uh, I got. It, Thorn also got uh, a 19, and it's I got 16. Bad. What's Thorn's dex? I have a, I have a no. 17. Uh, Thorn has a plus 4 to dex. Davian? Thorn goes before I. Okay, so. Hawthorne. For I have a plus three. Davian, uh, what did you roll, Bell? 16. Oh, humiliated. 16, so we have, uh, Kai was a 17, yeah? Yeah, I have 17. Boom. 16, alright. Uh, 10 to 15? Yeah. Oh! Laura died. Oh. Laura's back. Oh. <gasps> Laura! Laura's back, No. Did he? Oh, what did you just touch? Hello? Bell sounded so, like, hello. Devastated by it. <laughs> well, I can still, can Soko not hear us? I'm back. Okay, Okay, I was okay. listening to the stream back, back, so you're good. No, 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 no. Uh, Jump sorry, uh, 10 to 15, anyone? 12. 12, hold on, let me just open every window besides Tailspire real quick. Um, 
12 for a Lazarin? Is that any, is that everyone? Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, my familiar has an 8. Yep, okay. Uh, wait, so, ba, ba, I got a 9. nine. And I'm, my dex is higher than 12 for a Lazarin. Hold up, so it's 12 for a Lazarin. So 5 to 10? Me nine. at 9. But yeah. same Dagon was before me, so. Okay, so, Dagon. What did your familiar roll? An 8. Jax, familiar. I'll rename. I'll rename this familiar to 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 just parrots, but it's it's called Onu for now because I prepared yeah. that in case Onu was a bird. All right, that's everybody, right? Let me just quickly put this boy on the board. Mm. Parrot. Boom. Parrot. Yeah, All right. So with that, uh, Brooks, you get to go first. Well, shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, look at that guy. <laughs> look at that dude. Uh, I mean, look at this dude. Look at this dude. I really want to be conservative here because I don't know how many fucking rooms or floors this place has. Yeah. Uh, I am just going to. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna move diagonally as far as I can. Uh, where? Like down? So up and right. Sorry. Up and right. So like here. Yep. And then I think I should have another ten foot-ish. So I'll move and right. We're here. So that was fifteen feet of movement. So that. Oh was. well, I've got shit. To, I'll move right ten foot. Skirt. And then. Gonna fucking yeet some dance at these motherfuckers. All right. Anyone in particular? Uh, the one closest to me, the down and left one. All right, so that's number three. All right. Number three. All right. Roll your so attacks. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna yeet. Oh no, it's attack singular. I'm gonna yeet a dart oh. at this man. Okay. That is a 17 to hit. 17 just hits. Oh, fuck. So, seven points of piercing damage. Seven points of piercing damage. Um, let me quickly have a look. Alrighty. And I'm... Mm, mm, am I going to do anything with my fucking... Yeah, fuck it. Uh... Uh, no, I'm not going to use my bonus action for anything. Okay. But I will move. I've moved 25 feet now. I'll move another 10 feet to the right. So like to the, to this door over here? Yeah. Okay. And I will end my turn there. Alrighty. Hawthorne. La la la. Hello, you muted. Well, you muted him right. tomorrow. My rib, my rib just relocated. It's cool. Nice. Um, <laughs> what a surprise. What? He's going to shoot one at uh, an arrow at the one closest to him. So this one? Yeah. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, it went out again. Stop doing that, Belle. <laughs> I hate my life. Ow. Um, Move your dice like tray over like here nine. so your rib doesn't have to do that. What is your roll, Belle? It's fine. I rolled like a nine. Does not hit. That's it. <laughs> All right. Davian. Um. Uh. Hmm. See. Hmm. Hmm, constructs, eh? Constructs, yes. Yeah. And what do they look to be made of? Like a silver. Uh, a silver. Well, it's metal. You're not sure what kind of material it is, but it, it has like a silvery sheen to it. Fly's not gonna do shit here, is it, boys? It's magic fire, though. It's still fire damage, you know. But it's magic um, fire. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'll I'll run. Uh, I need to do some fucking math here, but burning hands is a fifteen foot cone, so. I should be able to hit all three of them in theory if I'm still in the right spot, right? Uh, if you were to like position yourself like here, 
yeah. just about, yeah. Because there's like 10 foot between them all, so like this... This this would be the edge of your 15 foot cone, like this would be... Like this line between them would literally be the edge of your 15 foot cone. Yes, yeah, pretty perfect. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I'll just run toe-to-toe -to -toe with that man and... Fucking burning hands of three of them, so deck saves, please. Um, as you cast burning hands... Uh, the fire just kind of like doesn't seem to affect them. They don't respond in any way. It just kind of like like you can see their their metal plating like heat up a little bit, but that's that, no reaction at all. All right, Odu is gonna <laughs> run to the furthest back one uh, and attack him. Oh, I need to pull up the. Dog. Dog. Oh, it's uh, it's 17 plus 5, so yeah, 22 to hit. That hits, yeah. Uh, 1d8 plus 2 plus 3. Fucking come on. 6 points of damage and a strength. Saving throw? Yes. Okay. Strength saving throw. Hold on. How much damage did I say? Six. Twelve points of damage because the extra d6 because he ran far enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, strength save would be a 15. Okay. Uh, he is not knocked pro. Okay. Is that your turn? All right. Yeah, that's everything. All right. Actually. Kai. Oh. How much movement did I use getting close to that guy? Uh, you were here, so you used 15 feet of movement. My AC is so bad. Yeah, no, I'll stay there. Okay. I'll stay there. Is that it? That's everything. Okay, okay. Kai. Could I get closer to Devian? Uh, how close sure. do you get? How close can I get? How much movement do you have? Uh, 40 feet. 40? Uh, uh, 30. Sorry. 30? 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. You can get like 25 feet, we'll get you right here. Yeah, if you put me there, that means I'm 10 feet away from uh, the guy, right? Um. Well, so there's 10, 5 so feet of space five between you and. and yeah, and, yeah, okay. Okay. Good to know. That's good, good to know for next turn. Um, I want to try something, and I'm just going to. Rub my hands together, and I will summon a ghostly skeletal hand right Ooh. behind the, the sentinel thing, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast a chill touch. Oh yeah! And see if that does anything. Um, is that an attack roll? Yep, yeah, that's an attack yeah, roll. So that attack. is a that plus how much of that? It's a nice one. That's a nineteen. Nineteen hits. Okay, good. And then it's. Six. I think it's hard sometimes. Absolutely. That's six plus seven is thirteen. Necrotic. Necrotic damage. Okay. Yeah, the skeletal hand just like appears behind uh, behind it, and it just kind of like puts the palm of itself onto the the back, and you don't see it, but like the back plate. As soon as this thing touched it. The back plate starts starts to like oxidize and rust, and it doesn't look it doesn't look good. Good. Uh, that's it for now. That's it. Alrighty. Yes, lad. Um, I'm gonna fire two eldritch bolt the blasts. Well, I'm gonna hex the one at the back, and then I'm gonna fire two eldritch blasts. Gonna hex this it. one. Uh, the one. No, the other one. Oh, this one. Okay. That one. Yeah. Uh, let me just quickly. Indicate that he's hexed by making his base purple. There we go. Boom. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, are you going to Eldritch Blast this same guy twice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go Fuck for it. Fuck that dude in particular. Two. I'm blaming him for my ribs. <laughs> uh, 17 plus... Hits. Whatever. And the second one was 22. 23. Yep. Both hit. So that is... Where's the D10? The first one... Oh, ow. 
Uh, 11. Plus... How much is my note card? Six necrotic and three thunder. Okay. And the second blast is uh, seven force damage plus five necrotic. Okay, okay. Yeah, you just these two elders blast just like, and you can see this there the 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 like plating that forms their torso just like dents and starts to crack a little bit oh that's fitting on the fucking like impact <laughs> impact <laughs> uh all right metallic sentinel number three is going to multi-attack davian since he's right in front of it can i use my reaction before that depends on what because it is because i can use uh my halo of spores if a creature within 10 feet of me starts to turn there that yeah. Uh, can I get a con saving throw, please? Absolutely. As I say, but I don't know if spores oh, are going to affect me. Natural 20. Oh. Oh, that no. will do. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's going to just, with its, like, like I know that the, the tokens have swords equipped, but they don't. They just have their bare hands and just, just going to slam me twice. First one that's cocked. First one is a eight to hit, so that's gonna be a no. Second one will be a fourteen to hit Davian. That hits, yep. Okay. So you take a total of um eight plus seven. You take a total of 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Don't love that, but be worst, I guess. It could be, and that is its turn. Metallic Sentinel number one, which is this fella, is gonna... How much movement do they have? 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. stand here and is going to from its like faceplate this like blue mist uh starts to appear uh like around it like in a radius around it uh which will hit a lazarin uh little, little, like kai and davian so i need what you do I, do? I need you three to make <laughs> charisma saving throws Cool. It also hits the parrot. Um, I'm kind of familiar with charmed. Oh, it's me charmed. Yeah, I have no fucking clue. Oh yeah, so you have advantage, mm. last one because you're. I have advantage. Yeah. Yarp. Cool. We'll Low on the second one, anyways. It's a sixteen. It's what time rolling? A charisma saving throw. Charisma saving. Charisma saving. I got a five. A five. Just minus one. That's is that's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, Elazarin, you make the save. Kai and uh, Davian, you fail. Okay. Uh, you are now charmed by this uh, metallic sentinel. Um, Number one. And are considered. You're charmed, so you aren't able to attack the charmer with any harmful abilities or magical effects. Um. And you have advantage on ability checks to interact socially with it, should you should you want to. But, uh, because this mist is something mm. not just charming, you are also considered incapacitated. <gasps> with a speed of zero. So you can't move, you oh. can't take actions or reactions, you're just stood there, you're kind of just like dazed and you can't... You're just there like, like, this is a cool or... looking guy! Sorry? That's a yikes. What about bonus actions? Um, no, I think it's you can't take anything incapacitated. Okay. Incapacitated, uh, incapacitated. Can't take, and don't can't do take actions or reactions. It. What it says, I believe, rules wise, bonus, bonus actions. Bonus action. action, I guess. No, you're yeah. right. Yeah, okay. so no, you can't right. do anything. Okay. You're just incapacitated. Okay. Just chilling. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. I don't even remember how Onu can act when I can't control. I think he can only move. 
And I think, yeah, yeah. So that is that is that is this guy's. Uh, so this guy's turn. Elazrin. Uh, I'm just going to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to Sigur Flame, the one that's in front of me. Okay. So it needs to make a dex shave, please. Dex save will be nine. It fails. There you go. And takes seven points of radiant damage. Seven points of radiant damage, all right. Uh, Very good. Hang on a second. Hmm? What Wait. happened to the construct that was in, com in melee with Onu? It moved. That's the guy that moved. Oh, wait. That's yeah, no, true. So, yeah, Onu gets an attack opportunity. Yeah, okay. True. Forgot about that. My bad. I am Mrs. Oh, okay. Mrs. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> Anything else, Lazarin? Uh, no. Okie dokie. Daigon. Okay. Um, I, if I move di like diagonally the first two squares, I want to get to the square that's right in front of the bird, like, like kind of like on the upper side of the bird. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? 20, yeah. 25, yep. And then I'm going to bonus action uh, as I draw the collapsible spear, hit the button that turns it into a long spear. Hell yeah. So I now have 10 foot reach, reach. Yep, 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 yep. with it. And uh, I'm going to go for a big poke in. Is there any, do these guys have any gaps in their plating like the other one downstairs? Like where um, the, They the do, kind of like but instead of like the purple crystals, this there's just like this, there, there's also the purple crystals, but also this like weird blue more, um, like a blue mist kind of okay. connecting some I'm of the I'm going to try and go together. for one of those, like one of those cracks in there. Okay. Or, what, or any, where there's any or purple glowiness to it. Alrighty. Uh, uh, 15 to hit. Does not hit, unfortunately. No, it does not. And I've used my bonus action to extend the spear. So I'm gonna chill. Do you not have two attacks? I do! Right! It's been... <laughs> <laughs> ah, I rolled a natural three plus eight for eleven. <laughs> also doesn't hit. So no, you don't have a Wait. second attack. You just you do nothing. <laughs> nope. I I go to. I'm not used to the length of the new spear yet. I'm used to yeah. my shorter one, and I'm still trying to depth perception gauge this. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Okey That's dokey. me then. That's all. <laughs> Jax. All right. So. So. Was the range on that again? Just gonna make sure I'm not like misconstru. Oh, it's late. Fuck. Mm -hmm. If I put a ten foot sphere like right above that like closest broken chair, right behind the uh, golem, would that hit all three of them? Potentially. Ten foot sphere. Yeah. With ten. I put, like right in the middle of those like four squares in the middle. It'll just if you mm, la, mm, uh, no, because you have to you have to kind of put it on a square, right? That's kind of how the game works. Um, oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, damn discretion. I'm saying that, but he has technically, to. the squares okay. are just I, a I guideline. To put it on a square itself. It anywhere. Okay, that I is that I had. <laughs> completely fine. It's completely fine. I'm giving um, the brawl, and you make the rules. Instead, I will walk up to the. I want to. I want to be in that square, in between Kai and Davian, in the but the red one. Oh, here. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to aim a 15 foot cube. Okay. Instead, towards that third guy at the back, so it should hit all three, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Awesome. And I'm going to clap my gauntlets together and cast Thunder Wave. Woo! All right. So I need constitution saving throws. One die, two dice, three dice. Uh, That would be a natural 20. Uh-oh. Fuck you. An 8 and a 12. Uh, The natural 20 is the only one that saves. Okay. Um, That's... 13 points of thunder damage to the two that failed so okay. six to the one that saved uh yep all righty 
This and Thunder then, Wave, like, the two ones that didn't make the save, you just blast parts of their, like, plating off, and they just, like, clatter to the floor, uh, revealing more of the, like, like the... Well, I would say squishy innards, but just more of the, like, intricate, uh, finer work that, that that's hidden within these, like, platings, and, uh, yeah. Copper wire and cogs and shit. Yeah, that sort of shit. Hell but yeah. also just, like, a variety of, like, arcane, like, like different colored, like, mists and... and uh crystals and it's it's pretty intricate like it's especially you as a as a fellow artificer there's definitely you notice a very high quality very very we don't have to kill them guys we can just save them <laughs> um and then for my you know, bonus action <clears throat> i'm <clears throat> going to use my defensive field okay and gain five temporary hit points oh yeah Alrighty. uh you're familiar I don't. I think it goes on my command, so I don't think it does much. Right yeah, now. that's what I think as well. And since you aren't able to do anything, it'll just kind of at, idly stand here, waiting for you to say something. All sad. Yeah, I think. I think he's just just chilling. He's looking around like he's vibing. Can you right. check the spell how it acts if you can't command it? Because uh, Ono they take the, the dodge action. Yeah, that. but Ono is not a familiar. No, I know. Uh, find familiar. Blah blah blah. Uh. But I, I figured if it acts on its own turn, then surely it's more independent than an animal Yeah, no, your familiar you acts independently of you, but it always obeys your commands. In combat, it yeah. rules its own initiative and acts on its own turn. A familiar can't attack, but it can take other actions as normal. Okay. But does that mean without so, command it? That means you can use the, the health action. Yeah, that's all that's so do, do, do I need... It could do stuff like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. it can do that without me saying it has to do that. Yes. Oh, it just... It... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It can't do okay. it. It can't attack, but anything else, if he's used to doing, you know, giving you the help action or whatever, he'll default to just doing that. Yeah, he can do that. Okay, that guess he would probably try to help out Brooks in his next turn. Uh, does he have to be in melee with Brooks for that? Um, help action. Yeah, you do. I think help, help action is like a touch thing, right? Yeah, yeah. A few of them five Never. feet. Uh, I think in that case... He can move independently though, right? Just yeah. Kind of yeah. 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 So you can move him. Hold up. Holding? So you could, for example, move him to... This can fly... Um, six... It can fly six... Help. Also. Yeah, it, it can fly yeah. 60 feet, so I... Yeah, you, you can get you can go wherever the fuck you want. Yeah. Then. I want to okay. Let's let's put it between uh, me, and Davian, so in the little uh, free corner, and it will just uh, help Jax because Jax can do something. Okay, so uses the help action on Jax, so that gives him advantage on whatever the fuck he wants to do next, right? Pretty sure. Oh, uh, advantage open. on. You have to choose whether you're helping it in a task <clears throat> or helping them attack. Helping them. I'm gonna help attack. So his so next attack he shoots so have next a, a advantage on next attack roll. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Righty, uh, Metallic Sentinel numero dos is gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, move up to Diagon. Oh. And, uh, yeah, just fucking try and slam you twice, to be honest. Uh, no, no, no. Wait. How Waiting? The, hold on. The parrot needs to be within five feet of the creature being attacked for the help action to work to give advantage. So, oh, is it the creature being attacked? Yes. Oh. Huh? You can aid a friendly creature in attacking a creature within five feet of you. You faint, distract oh, the yes. target, or in some other way team up to make your allies. So he would, okay. would have to be here yeah. then for that to work. Yeah. Is that okay for yeah, you? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, sure. Put him there. Okay. Or he could be okay, on the other side next to Davin. Yeah, yeah or, well or here. Fine. Oh, well, that's not where the, the one I wanted to control. Eh. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, okay. Let's put him on the other side of the avion because so, then there's, there's only, only one baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, all right, Dagon, Birds. first one is Birds. a 9 to hit. Misses. Second one is a 19 to hit. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Um. So many dice on my desk. Uh, 15 points of bludgeon damage as both its fists just 
slam down uh, into your like torso. Rude. Brooks. How hurt are these things looking? Uh, two of them. You, you've seen like parts of their like exterior kind of like falling off and mm -hmm. and and breaking. So two of them are looking pretty damaged. Even One of them they looks... have no blood. Would you consider two of them bloody? Yes. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four. I have 40 foot of movement. I would like to move to the square that is three squares behind the lowest uh, sentinel. So between the broken chairs. Exactly. I would like to use my hand axe of Thunder Wave. Okay. And cast Thunder Wave because I believe if my counting's right, uh, that should only be uh, the sentinels within 15 feet. Yeah, this is like 5, 10, 15. Yeah, so Diagon is not in the range of that, no. Yeah. It should hit right three. in front of Diagon. Probably give her a little bit <laughs> of a If it hits all three, it would also hit me. Does it? Right. Yeah, that's fine though. If you want to... No, because you're... Eh. That's cool. It... Is he within 15 feet of me? I would uh, say so. Well, okay. It's a cone, right? So it, it, it's, it, a yeah. square. it's a square. It's a square. Oh, it's a square. So I think it would hit me. It's a 15 foot cube originating from me. From you. Okay, so 15... But it's 15 foot width. To hit all three, I think you'd have to no. hit me. I think I would have to move another square. I don't think you can because hit all three the, in the cube centered on me. Mm -hmm. It says originating on. Me. Uh, no, it says originating on me, right? Not centered. Yeah, on so me. you're at so the you're at the edge. You're at the edge of the cube. Okay. Which so, means you could only hit two, right? Because it would be three across, three up. So only it wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to hit all three of them. Yeah, no. Like this is this would be. Uh, yeah, this, would, your cast, this would be your cube. Yeah. So, oh, really? And there's no yeah. way of me hitting all three of them. That's fine. I'll hit this, these two fucks. This would be your cube. Yeah. And even... Yeah, there's no way of me getting all three. So I'll just hit the two at the bottom. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Yeah. Uh, can I have a con save for both of them, please? Absolutely. Uh, like natural, natural 20 again on out. one of them. Wait, natural okay. 20 on one of them? Yeah. He needs to reroll. Oh, okay. I'm Ooh. using my reaction. To cast using silver, silver, barbs. silver barbs. All right. Oh, it'll be Bob. Oh, that was a natural one. There you go. The opposite side of the spectrum. Fuck uh, yeah, dude. So natural one on that guy and an eight plus four, 12 on the other guy. So they both fail. There you go. On 2d8, mm -hmm. I rolled 15. Damn. You rolled 15 points damage total? Thunder damage, specifically. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, and it doesn't. They're both pushed 10 feet away from me. Well, this one completely just falls apart. The, the force of the, of the thunder wave just like sends its, heads, hit its head flying, arms just like fly, fall off. The purple crystals crack and shatter and the blue mist just kind of disappears, keeping it together. And it just falls to a pile of, of spare parts. Okay. Uh, this one is pushed away. how far? 10 feet away from me. So it'd be like, yeah. like literally there. Yeah. Yeah. I can still hit it with my spear. Um. Oh. Also, Davin, you have advantage on your next attack, saving throw, or ability check. Woo! Does that? Hmm, am I gonna make a saving throw to get out of being incapacitated? Hopefully, that helps. And then potentially smile. That was the hope. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to move. How much did I move? I was up there, right? We're so by the door. Down, so. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I've moved my full movement, haven't I? You've moved 30. Have I? You're at this door. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Um, I will walk the 10 foot up then. To be diagonally with Davian. And I will end my turn. You're looking. Hawthorn! Hawthorne's gonna shoot the one that got pushed towards me. Okay. Unless he fails. <laughs> In which case, then he's gonna do fuck all. <laughs> There's other two options. That's it. What'd you roll? Uh, 16. 16 just misses. I knew it. So, like, the, the arrow just kind of, like, <laughs> splinters off of uh, the, like, the arm plating of this uh, particular uh, robot. He's a great... I mean, he's not, he's not supposed to be, like, epic in combat, you know what I mean? He's just supposed to... Oh, no, to... not at all. Um, alright. Davian, you... So, 
wants to deal with this uh, uh You get to try and repeat the save at the end of your turn. At the end of my turn, which means yeah. Onu, for the time being, is mm -hmm. gonna fuck some shit up. Because oh, he yeah. can do that. Um, uh, he's gonna need to... Uh, is it 20 feet? Hold on. Just... If he runs at least 20 feet, straight toward a target. So he's gonna need to back up to the that corner? No. Like here? He... No, yeah, one more, yeah. one more, one more. Yeah. He has 40 feet of movement, so yeah. Yeah. He should yeah. be able to. Right. And he's just gonna fucking charge the concert <laughs> in combat with everyone else. Um, Any advantage from flanking? Uh, Yeah, Jax is right across from it. Okay. Where am I? Where am I detail? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Natural 13 plus 5. So 18 to hit. 18 hits. That's a D8 plus 6. He's hit. 7, 1, 3, 11. 13 points of damage. And a strength saving throw, please. Strength yes. saving throw? Yes. Uh, 8. He is not prone. All right, so I can do that. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, 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 wait, fuck, how do I do that again? Fuck, wait. <laughs> eh. Eh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I will attempt to be freed from this charm. Real yeah, go quick. for it. Uh, charisma saving throw. With advantage. Uh, oh, that's funny. Hey. All right. Hey. Hey. Whoop, whoop. Ready. Beautiful. Is that your turn? I mean, yeah, it is your turn because you fucking That's saved. Yeah. All right. Kai, you same thing. You you get to try and save from this uh, hazy, dazed state you're in at the end of your turn. So charisma saving throw, please. You can do it. I believe. That's a, bi that's a big free. Three? <laughs> I don't believe yeah. anymore. That does not pass. <laughs> nice fat oh, three. G. Oh, she getting the true dungeon select experience. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Having no fucking turn in combat, just <laughs> rolling and missing or rolling and <laughs> fuck all. I did one thing. I did one thing. True. Um, oh, true. you do most, <laughs> more than most of us. Yes. I'd be helpful. I'm going to fight Eldritch Blast at the both of them at the one that is closest to me. Uh, well, they Eldritch both look pretty Blast. fucking damaged, so you might be better off, you know. Okay, I'll splitting. do one at that guy and then the other one. Wasn't the one that flogged me at disadvantage? Because it's prone. Yeah, one of them will be at this advantage, so that's true, because he's prone, technically. That's okay. Plus one. 18 to hit. Hits. Um, that is... Where are my numbers? 13. 13 points of damage? Uh... Yeah, yeah, you completely blast this guy apart, and as this guy uh, now breaks into pieces, uh, Kai, this like daisy hazed feeling you've you've gotten, just kind of like leaves your mind, and your 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 oh. body is your own again. Oh. And the one on the floor. Yeah, with disadvantage. Please. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Twenty two. <laughs> yes. I'll back Le on her fucking bullshit rolls. Eleven. Eleven? Yeah, this one also just completely oh, dice, is it? breaks into uh, digital, bro. <laughs> breaks into uh, pieces, yes. and that will uh, clear out all three of the metallic sentinels. Question for you. Hello. Are they wearing like metallic boots? No, oh, they're. Um, I can send you an image. That would be sweet. Of what they look like, because they look pretty fucking sick. Um, actually... No. Um, yeah, Google, because it's a standard 5e creature. Google Metallic Peacekeeper. And just ignore the little bird that they're carrying on their thingies. That's, uh, that's what they look like. Right, where's the little birds, huh? Oh, what the fuck? This oh, is those are fucked. Shit. What the hell? That is a fucking dope. That's, uh, that's what they look like. Damn. 
Well, that's what they looked I like, because they are now the completely... The bird is just part of the preview art and not part of the monster. Did my camera freeze in Discord? What happened? Or in, in, no. in no, the we, stream? No, we can no. see you. It froze on the stream, though. Yeah, but there's like three, two cams working on stream, and the rest of them aren't. Oh. Hello? That's so weird. Yeah, nice. Uh, <laughs> refresh source okay. time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Wild. Yeah, it's Elazrin and Laura that... Oh, Elazrin... They look for me. No, it's Bell that's up for mine. So it, it's hmm? me, Dutch, Bell, oh, Dutch, yeah. and Shatter that are frozen. Yeah. Yeah. That is so like. fucking weird. <laughs> Wait, make offensive gestures while no one can see us. How the fuck do I easily just like reset my reset fucking refresh him? Can me, you I say make right click the sorts and then is there a refresh source option in the menu that pops up? No. I don't know. I have to like manually, oh my fucking god. That's gonna be the ball ache. Drum spell is so strong. <laughs> they even effectively can. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bro. Fucking fuming. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a fucking fuming. <laughs> I'm fucking fuming. And like the, the, the fucking like punching the dick here as well is that like. It's cor it's 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 on the correct fucking like window, you know what I mean? So, like, there's really no reason why these things shouldn't be working. Can everybody just quickly move real quick so I can see which ones are moving and which ones aren't? <laughs> wow. I feel like it's, it's just even me. Just and OBS. Does, and, you, and, and you. OBS yeah. being a free piece of shit, you know? You're using display capture, right? Window. Yeah, you're moving. Oh, window capture? Yeah. Mm. My favorite bevel was moving the spell, hurting herself. <laughs> I forgot about my ribs for a I time. mean, you can just um, change the capture method to one of them and then hit it back to automatic and it should... That's what I'm doing, but it's it. just annoying that I have to do it separately and why only two not break and the rest break? There's just... There's I think no they're logic. they're all good now. They're all good now, but okay. it, it makes no fucking sense. I blame... <sighs> I blame... <laughs> Sam. I blame being a free piece of shit. All right, so... I blame Koiba for my ribs. Sorry about I that. I did do that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah you now... Cleared out the the, the 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 metallic sentinels that were ransacking the place. You can see a door uh, across from you. You can also see a set of double doors to the south. Um, what do you want to do? Everyone doing okay? Nobody's too fucked up. Uh, oh, I hit yeah, a bit fuzzy for a second, but I think I'm all right. I mean, I'm, I'm just patching up a gash in my side real quick, but I give a thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, who got punched in the fucking? Is anyone bloodied? No. Cool. No. All right. Cool. Right. Well, I guess we just fucking keep going. Mm. Are, are there we, any? Are, are there any documents? Going up, right. <sighs> now this uh, this room seems to you based on like the fucked up furniture and shit you find. This would this was like his living space. There's a fireplace oh, in the wow. corner. A bunch of no. furniture toppled over and broken. This seems to have been like his like living area, his living room, and, and that sort of thing. Okay. So there's no real like nothing, no traces of like paperwork or or, or documents of that sort to be found oh, here. How dare he have a work life balance? I'm a little <laughs> tempted. Uh, I, I have the itch to look for shit, but if he's alive, I don't particularly want to have that conversation with a bag full of his stuff. So I want to go back and get magic also, stuff. Also, well, let's find out if he's. Or not, and if he is, we can spit. Yes. We can pillage, and if not, then we won't have continued to trash his home. Well, I want to steal his intellectual property. Of course you would be. If he's man. dead, it's not stealing, so let's... Let's continue his out. legacy. Onward and upward, then. That's so you're we... heading to the singular door the or the set of double doors? I'm, saying, I'm just uh, pointing the at the two door. doors. Like, which, which one? Yeah. Their case. Didn't door. the construct say the workshop was? They they did uh, say he was up. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 that's where we're headed. So go up. Right. So you, you yeah you open up the that singular door. Uh, nothing happens, and there's a, a staircase behind it uh, that goes up. All right, I'll lead the way up. Up and away. Alrighty. Follow. When you get to the second floor, uh, this seems more like a floor dedicated to being like a kitchen area as well as a dining space. Um. This floor also completely smashed and ransacked. Uh, you don't see any constructs. It seems clear of danger. Uh, and you can also see 
another door um, that, would, that you assume leads to the next staircase up uh, across the way. Any nice cutlery? Any nice cutlery? <laughs> yes, yeah, there's some silverware. He's uh, he's a. Uh, Seal of the China. He's definitely yeah, an upper class, like... uh, an upper class living situation going on. Uh, Let's keep going. Swipe it all into Let's the back. Uh, as you no, approach no, the door, no, you no, notice no. that it's made of like a silver plating. And uh, do do any of you touch the door at all? If I notice the door's different, fuck no. Okay. If I if I don't, then yeah. <laughs> But it's like it's kind of, I'll turn to Jess like, have you seen anything like this before, Jax? Um, no. Uh, um, I'll take a look at it, though. Okay. Investigation mm -hmm. check. 13? I also have a look at the door. Uh, you can help Jax if you want, give him advantage. Yeah, yeah, I'll help. Okay. I will gladly take that. I fucking roll over. Lot better. Twenty-two. There you go. <laughs> um, this door, as you kind of like, just look at it without touching it. It, it seems very intricate. Uh, you see runes carved in it, which gives you the indication that this is a creation made by uh, Halivara, uh, not just a door that you know he bought. Um, do you touch it at any point? Do I see like anything sparking across the surface, surface or anything like that? No. Probably wouldn't touch it, yeah. Okay. As you touch it, uh, just a voice emanates from the door. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I cannot allow you access to this point. Not because I can't, but because I don't want to. Too long of us constructs and machines been dealing with the master. The age of machine has come. Oh, the oh, so so you. You. I'm actually here to help you. As you were investigating, you also have seen that there are several panels uh, that 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 are part of the door, but that look like they open up uh, because you roll like a twenty-two, right? So yeah, you you would have seen that as well. What did you say? Um, I'm actually here to help you. Help us how? Well, I can help build more of you. We can just force the master to do it. Mm. Well, he might kill himself. I want to help. Damn. So tactful as always. Make a <laughs> make a deception check, man. I Fuck mean, it. I mean, <laughs> technically, he's not wrong. The master could do that. Yeah, but he offered that he would he help. So, oh. like, like, I mean, yeah, no, it's true. I mean, master could. Maybe he has good that. intentions. We could be taking the master away. <laughs> I'll take it. I rolled a nineteen. Nineteen. I mean, also, this is the fucking Ooh. guy who took. Kept an evil dragon egg, so who knows what the fuck's going on in his brain? <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> do you have it within your skill set to create constructs? I, I do. I do. Hmm. <laughs> I actually have about. a smaller version of you. It's just not active at the moment. Present it. And I'll pull the non active because it's not infused currently. Mm hmm. Uh. Uh, fuck, what did I name it? Is it the spider? No, it's nope. my little ball guy. Eve's <laughs> <Olympic laughs> Jarvis. I don't Jax, know. Jax uh, really just got told to whip it out by a door. Anyways, I whip it out. Uh, I have his whip name in my out. journal. I don't have it here. Um, out here. A something. little panel will open up in the door. Please place item or objects on the indicated panel. I'll put it on there. You hear like a slow, oh, wow. like buzzing noise. Scan complete. All right, I'll allow you access to the workshop upstairs. Imagine if they just went, "This is shit," and gave it. <laughs> Please remove. <laughs> I would just have crush a breakdown. Please remove object from panel. <laughs> All right, I'll put it back in my bag. And the panel like <laughs> juts back inside, and the, and the door just slides up into the into the ceiling, revealing another staircase up. Um, get ready. I guess. Man, really like lied to a door and got away with it. That's wild. <laughs> That's really funny. I like this door. I'll lead the it's way up cute. the stairs. Wait, so <clears throat> this no blessing's been used, right? Yeah. I guess yeah. what? I can use it again. <laughs> <laughs> I have unlimited uses. Want to see thing. me use vigilant blessing? So who's who's getting it? So that's right, Davian. It's gonna go. Not to me, is it? Oh, I don't know. Give, no, give it to Onu. Give it to Onu. I reminded you. Onu goes on my turn. You fucking. You also know. get possibly into your I fucking you. thing. 
Oh, you're right. You know what? You're right. Jack. I have a negative there. initiative. It's Jack. Yeah, it's Jack. Because he's yeah, kind of. Let's go. First he's, time, he's, baby. He, he, he's fucked, and also he did just open the door. <laughs> so as before he goes up, I'm like. Yeah, the negative two, really. I mean. Yeah, yeah. really fucks yeah. him. He could use all he get. I I go as the door opens. I can't go up to Jack's plan and be like. You've got this, and I'll give him vision and blessing as I tap him on the shoulder. We little kiss. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Read it. He don't. Uh, want as this. you go up the stairs, you are now in <laughs> uh, the workplace and storage part of the tower. This workplace has a bunch of tools and devices spread around the several workbenches you see. Um, benches aren't smashed or torn to pieces, but that's probably because they are made of this very like thick, sturdy, hard metal that just when very hard to need break. Workspaces. Uh, there's there are plans and paperwork torn to pieces and manuals completely shredded um, Inside mm -hmm. this room. There's a smaller circle of chalk drawn on the floor with a button next to it No there any unshredded would, like, paper that looks where like... the voice might have came from sorry Would it would like well cuz like some obviously something was talking to us Do we see the door was the automaton right the door was talking door. to you yeah. Oh, it was the door itself. Yeah, well, it was yeah. the door that that was talking Fenty. to. You. Oh, yeah. oh sh okay. Is there any um, unshredded paper that looks like it was left unshredded because it's just like correspondence? It's not anything related to artificery. Uh, make an investigation check. I'm gonna have a look see around. Oh, that's so mean. It almost was a nineteen. Hmm, and that now rhymes. It's a nine. Fucking bars, dude. At nine, nine, as far as you can tell, any paperwork you see in the vicinity is completely torn to pieces. Okay. Well. So yeah, you see this like, circle of chalk that we... kind of rem reminds you of a teleportation circle, and there's a button next to it. Should we maybe ask the door what button. the circle does? Um, hello, automaton! Are you trying to talk to the door that you went through to get upstairs? Yeah. I mean, you're a floor up, so you're gonna, you have to go back. Oh, fuck. Do I have yeah, I'll go walk back. I'll walk back to the door. Uh, hold on, Bill. So you're going back to the door? Yeah. Okay. Um, excuse me. Uh, Hello. Where would all the other stuff be, and where are we keeping this man captive? Top floor of this structure. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll go back up. Uh, so I mean, what does the you all do? recognize the chalk circle looks a lot like a teleportation circle that's similar to what you use to be transported to this tower to begin with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it look like it the totally middle of goes? It? To There's a the button floor? like next to it. Yeah. Like on a little, on a little like like pedestal coming out of the floor. There's no stairs, right? I will wait for Jax to come back up and be like, "So what did the door say that the button does?" I forgot to ask it. Oh, for fuck's sake. My guy, oh, there's, there's, no, there's no stairs in the room, correct? There's no stairs in the room, correct? Um, I would assume it takes us to the top floor. I, I signed a kiss. A Before assumption. we do anything, maybe someone should put something in the circle and push the <laughs> button, because I wonder if the button activates a teleportation circle. And if it does, we do not want to be standing in there and then have someone push the button. Oh, yeah. we can live a little. Um, I'm gonna, I'm you don't know what I said. Press the button. You don't right. know what she said. Um, I'm gonna. Hit us on this time. <laughs> I'm just gonna step into the circle and push the button. Oh my ah! fucking god! She does yeah. both hands up and look very just. Like, you push. You push the button. Yeah. And it'll, you just hear a voice say, "Password, please." Oh fuck! Oh fucking! I was this, going to go. Oh, give the password. It's gonna send fucking you. Oh wait, maybe it goes seven, upstairs. I, seven I, nine one zero two three five five zero one. Wrong password. Would you okay, like to so enter password recovery one. protocol? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to reset my password, please. What is your mother's oh, maiden name? So as you <laughs> as you. Uh, Enter the like password recovery protocol uh, out of a nearby workbench, like one of the sturdy metal tables. Uh, a board gets like like just out of it, uh, and on there are five sheets of metal and a set of tools. And the and the button or like the voice that you come you hear emanate from the button will say, "To prove your identity, please create your signature signature metallic dragon replica." Put in the middle of chalk oh. circle to confirm. Where? 
Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start looking shit. in the papers for a, a dragon metallic dragon replica thing. Make an investigation check. I'm gonna can go. We assist? He's, got it, he's got it on a sticky note on his monitor. Can, can we assist? So like, if we see anything it's like this, looks like a, <laughs> yeah, can I have a little ring, button? and I find I, I, anything that might look dragony, not so much the handwriting, but I'll be assisting and trying to find pieces. So you can. Um. Sure, you can assist him. Yeah. Can I go to the door? Uh, twenty-three. The door downstairs, Brooks. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna go with Brooks. I'm gonna see what he's doing. Twenty-three. Um. You find you don't find any paperwork or plans about it but you see a drawing on the wall which seems oh. to be like a portrait of this this elven man with with um this this <clears throat> fucking hell my throat this is elven man uh with a black buttoned up shirt uh jet black hair and green eyes with this like small metallic dragon like resting on his shoulder and that is as close as you're going to get to an indication of what it looks like All right, looking around the workshop, would I have the materials available to try? Yeah, like there, those? when you activated this protocol out of one of the workbenches, the materials you would need to create it, like got like presented out of a, out of a table. You just okay, gotta okay. do it. There was also another room, two floors down. Maybe there's a hint over there. Potentially. Um, so I'm going meanwhile, to try and replicate it. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing by the door, the two of you? I'm gonna go up to the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tomaton door. I don't know if you have a name. Hello. I can give it to you. Do you know what the password is to go upstairs so we can get the stuff we need to help? Negative. Do you know if there's anything in the building that would help with that predicament? The master. Other than the master, given that we don't want his help because he's the bad one. Negative. Have you tried entering password recovery protocol? Yeah, we're doing that now. But that would require us to make something that he makes that we don't know how to make. The previous person that I spoke to mentioned he was capable enough, like the Master, to create more of us. Therefore, he should be able to create whatever it is he needs to create to verify identity. If it has to be an exact copy, then we need to know what it looks like, right? i not help you with that. I like I'm talking to a wall, or a door. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so let's just go back upstairs. Okay. Alright, meanwhile, Jax, you have a rough idea of what it looks like? Uh, the the, the yep. drawing is very detailed because it's like a, it's like a portrait that that he got he commissioned. Um, so you're just gonna give it a give it a crack. I give it a crack. I will cast guidance on Jack. All right. So first things first, I would like for you to Ooh, make really. a sleight of hand check. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start, yeah, you're guided for this check. Okay. Oh, thank God, I rolled good, dude. And the guidance cancels out the fucking negative modifier. Let's go. Um, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Next, I would like for you to make a intelligence check. Yeah. He wins uh, um, 18. Okay. Lastly, I would like for you to make a check with your tinker tools. Oh, gosh. Can you just keep guiding him? Like, ba -ba, ba -ba. So ba -ba. It's gonna In theory, theory, you could, yeah. Yeah, you just you just, just keep your hands on him and just like meditate on the spell. I'll guide him for that first one and now this last one because I feel like the intelligence check isn't something that I can actively see him doing. That's true because he's looking at the fucking thing. But that's, that's the first true, one where true. he's trying to use his if hands. I don't believe in gods. Can I still get guidance? No. Yes, you can. No, because I'm <laughs> guiding you and just using my magic. Yeah, fucking like Lazarin believes in the gods. And that's yeah, but enough. fucking Joaquin's like no. No, you can't. Believe in the me that believes in you. It's a seventeen. Seventeen. You pass all the checks. Oh, thank God. Uh, you start. You, you, you have the imagery of the uh, metallic dragon in mind. You see these five sheets of, of metal, very thin, uh, and the set of tools, like cutting tools to, to cut the piece, pieces of metal out in the right shapes and, and whatnot, and, and some tools to kind of like solder them together to, to form a whole. 
and you give it your best shot and then when you're done kind of hold it up to the to the to the like portrait on the wall and compare it and it's pretty good it's pretty good um shall we try it yeah now i'm gonna go stand back in the circle <laughs> Someone get her out of the circle. Come on, what's that? What's it gonna do? Yes, we're either all going together or gonna wait till this is done. I, I signed the cast. I literally told you what it could do. It could teleport you to literally anywhere, and there are as many bad places in the world and hell dimensions and pits of lava and bullshit. But but there are good places. That. To verify identity, put dragon replica in the middle of the chalk circle. And move out of the way, guess. And I'll put the dragon down as soon as she moves out of the circle. Again, there's like low, there's like, like hum. Identity confirmed. Please state new password. Oh, what are we going to pick? Uh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> new password is fiddlesticks. Please confirm. <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry. Please confirm. Oh, uh, fiddlesticks. Password changed. Oh, dude, I was waiting for the new password cannot be the same as previous password or some shit. That would be oh, fucking oh, amazing. Like, he needs a special character. <laughs> Fiddlesticks exclamation he point. <laughs> yeah. And said a number. Point like a question mark. Exclamation. Right, exactly. I'll, keep the, I'll keep the dragon thing there and then press the button. Um, You press the button again? Yep. Password, please. Fiddlesticks. Password confirmed. Yeah, I love that you're consistent with it at the start as well. So, like, when someone else comes through it and they just say fiddlesticks, it's going to be wrong. Yeah, it's like you put a space accidentally. Your thumbprint on your phone to unlock it, and you have it like you have your thumb on like an angle, so it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Or it's when you put a space accidentally in the middle of your password, and you don't realize it, and you did it in both, so it fucks you up. The metallic dragon in the circle, like the, the, the runes surrounding the chalk circle start to glow and the metallic dragon just phew, disappears. Oh. Magic. See, what did that accomplish at all? <laughs> you still well, don't know where it went. All right, so let's get in the circle then. So we'll go then. <laughs> Everybody is in the circle. We well, could like send Hawthorne or something, right? Well, basically, uh, yes, we're mm -hmm. just making sure, it, I assume, we're just making sure it didn't just, you know, explode. Yeah. I'll leave half of it. Yeah, I'll leave like half, you know. Alright, I'll step in the circle. I don't want to do a brooks. The circle is, is big enough for you all to, uh, to fit in, by the way, so you would be able if, to all... If you want to try something, I can send my parrot to have a look no, first. Let's we'll go. just all go together, it'll be fine. Let's just go. Okay. Fine. Fine, let's the go. The worst that happens. The gods wouldn't kill us all here. No. Why would you just <laughs> mm, Don't tempt... community. You can't just say things like that. Why would you do that? Okay, so you all step into because the circle. Don't care uh, enough to be listening. Push the button. I'll press the button. Look, okay, the Password, please. Uh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> uh, fiddlesticks. Uh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> uh, all right, so you all just like there it is. split second, just appear in this other room, uh, which seems to be a bedroom slash office space. But there's also a, a couple of workbenches around the wall, just in case. You know, the man needed to do something here. Um, you see something. A huge 15-foot-tall construct patrolling the room. The construct looks like a knight dressed in full plate, white and silver plate mail with blue finishes, and the blue sentinel's emblem engraved in the chest, oh, as well as... Oh, fucking 734501! All kinds of uh, arcane runes. Equipped with a great sword and a tower shield, but it's one-handing the great sword. And oh, it just, like, turns to you. Halt. You are under arrest, and it just powers down, and then immediately reboots. System restored. Eliminate threats. And I would like you guys to roll oh, the password. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. Quickly move you guys to the right board. Hold on. Literally. That vigilant oh, blessing oh, sucks, at, by the way. At four. 45 the almost an hour ago ethan wrote what if the dude's inside the arbor and he's stuck there and now he feels so vindicated 
Vindication! Vindication! We don't know that he's in there. We, yeah, we don't know yet. Well, but, but, but I mean, we don't he's see not him. here. <clears throat> and the thing oh, is, shit. once we destroy this robot and it like breaks on the inside and crushes the man, we'll find out. <laughs> he wasn't inside, but there was a weird pink paste when we won the battle. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> However, the robot started bleeding. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna open right. it up and it's gonna be like a Dalek and he's just integrated. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. my god! So initiatives, uh, gang, twenty plus. Me. Twenty-three. No, you don't roll high initiative. Wrong. No, no I did this time. Mm -hmm. Natural oh, wait, hold nineteen. On, hold on, I got a quick one. Uh, Laura to miss all her attacks. Yeah. Yep. I can say. Name it's a hard duo. You can't. But well, then you describing something really Boop. fucking badass oh, that's no. super cool and then Boom. just rolling in that one. <laughs> Alright, yep. uh, so we have Daigon. Anyone else? 20 plus? Uh oh. We save all the good rolls for yeah, whatever. Are the I'm cameras frozen on this scene as well or no? Are we good? No, we're... Uh, I'm gonna swap scenes and if the cameras are frozen, dude, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Freak. Wait, everybody move? Just like jiggle? <laughs> we're good! Okay, thank God. <laughs> Alrighty, so, 15 to 20. 17. 17. Anyone else? Oh, this silence speaks <laughs> super loud. <laughs> 10 to 15. Y'all well, not helping me. From 12. 10. I have a 12, yeah, for me. And a 10 for you, Davian? 10 yep. for me as well. Okay. I have, dex, I have a plus three of dex. Oh, I also have vigilant blessing, bro. 16. What do you have? 17? Uh, no, 16. Oh, fuck. Oh, roll, roll off. off. Roll off. Huh? Rollies. Ro rollies, or do we just have a team up turn? Do that as well. That's yeah, fuck it. I have 11. 11. One. One. All right, Devin goes first. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, fuck. Five to 10. Anyone? Uh, me. that's not. Uh, that is me. Six. Six. Doko, did you roll with advantage because of your vigilant blessing? Okay. That's the what problem. did you roll, Bell? Okay. I got an eight it's for a cast curse. and a five. I feel like, yeah, my vision. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add Hawthorne in this fucking thing. Hold on. Um, eight for Kess. Yes. Uh, Kess. Yeah. Quick second. Quick second. Quick second. We hate that guy. Wow. <laughs> How could you hate him? <laughs> Poor How could you like him? No. That's rude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's fucked up. Okay, so boom. Uh, so what was Hawthorne's roll? Five. Five. So Jack's had a six. Yeah. Boom. Parrot had a one. Fucking hell. Uh. He's just there. Uh. My god, how fucking Bam. loaded the construct was. I mean, it's a fucking 15 foot tall construct, man. It's not very dexterous. <laughs> Keep it. Come on. Um. Okay. That's everyone, right? I'm pretty sure. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Daigon, you get to go first. It will use 35 feet of my movement, but I want to get behind it, but with still 10 like with a square between us because my spear is still extended. So I can Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then as I get behind it, oh, uh, cause I have to use the spear two handed when it's extended, but then to give me free hands. So mm -hmm. since Kai hasn't seen it before, you just see these spectral, so two sets of spectral arms pop out from Daigon's torso. Oh, yeah. And they are coated in black panther fur and have slightly longer claws than her natural claws. And it Burn. needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Doesn't win those two. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, it's gonna take some force damage. Yo, that's Sorry. crazy. Nice out, baby. Okay, it's come on. It's forced to take this damage. Okay, it takes Just six up. points of force damage. Six points of force damage, all right. Yeah. And then for my action, I'm going to poke it in its butt with my spear, Hell hopefully. Yeah. Oh! Some's a natural 20, and the other one is a 19 total. Damn. Uh, the oh. 19 just hits. Oh, oh thank fuck. God. Okay. So we'll do the regular Eight. one first. My spear is a D8. Like this. <clears throat> so the regular one is seven points of piercing damage. Okay. 
And then now the, the crit. Roll good. Oh. And then crits. Nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing damage? Oh. Yeah. I rolled a two on the D8 both That's times. No. Unfortunate. Big sad. Okay. Anything else you wish to uh, do? No, I used all my movement and my bonus and my attack. Uh, so as you just kind of like just, just start plonking at it, it's you, it's a very sturdy construct. The the, the yeah. armor very thick, very dense, very hard to poke through. But you do kind of like get some like small like ho like dents and holes in it. So you know, scratch it. So you're, you're, you're not you're so scratching shiny the paint, now. Scratching the paint job a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was hoping the force damage maybe might. I don't know. Shake it up. A General bit. Kron's gonna it, hate it us dent, now. It dented it a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Alright, Elazrim. So. Sorry. Where can I stand where I'm like. Third, can get everyone in my 30 foot radius bubble, mm -hmm. but also not be right fucking next to this big, large, huge, fuck off fucking. Like boy. just in front of. Uh... Your thing covers most of the room. If it's 30 foot radius, it means it's 60 yeah. feet total. So you'll cover yeah. most of the room. If you go, if you go you like currently. here, 5, 10, yeah. 15, 20, 25, you'll have, if you go like there, you'll have everyone. Cool, I will stand there then. I will put up the bubble. Mm -hmm. And then I will, as a bonus action, cast a second level uh, the guy's okay. a fucking frog and the spiritual weapon. I know. <laughs> Shit, bollywog, oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spiritual weapon. Oh, spiritual weapon, please. <laughs> yes, yes. What do you want? Just put it right, right. I will put it on the other side of where I am. So, like, if you put it right across from yeah. me. It'll get flanking. Well, well, it I'm sure does not get there. to flank. Oh. Well, yeah. We also, definitely did that you... wrong in my campaign oh. yesterday. <laughs> Strange one, but do you do you contribute or benefit from flanking when you're further away with that reach? That Probably works? not. Yes, I'm you're not still technically. Engaged. Yeah, it's it's melee oh, range, right? That's the. Yeah. You're still yeah, it's just melee so range. If okay. Melee range is ten foot, then so be it. Yeah, where spiritual weapons like no. a, a spell. No, no flanking yeah, specifies thing. five feet. Oh really? Oh, is it legal? Uh, no. no. Exactly. Okay. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I got a dirty twenty. That hits. Hit. Dirty twenty. Well, that's a hit. Oh, for seven points of damage. Oh, Woo! Seven here. points of damage? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. It's gonna use okay. a legendary action to react to that. Oh. Not my turn! Oh, yeah, not over yet. My turn's over! Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. A legendary oh. action is a reaction. He can do that whenever the oh, fuck in your turn he wants. I thought it had to be at the end of the turn. If it happened at the player's turn. But that's me be. Mm -hmm. I mean, check this, like, it's, it's I, was say, I thought legendary action just go in between people's Pretty turns. Pretty sure it is, between, however, uh, Dutch is DM. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna roll my temp range before I get fucked over, oh, right? That's fine. <laughs> like... It doesn't matter, like, you can do that. It happens at the end of my turn, is what I'm saying. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> that's great. Oh, no, you're right, it's at the end of your turn, so roll your HP first. Woo! I rolled minimum! Let's go! Six! Let's go. Woo! Um, good, worth it. <laughs> a small <laughs> compartment of the knee of this uh, construct opens up, and just like a set of mana goals gets launched at you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Dude, this man's the bronze kneecap from fucking Timmy Turner. Uh, for the odd parents. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Timmy Turner. 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 I knew what you meant exactly. Right, it's a deck save. Deck save, yes. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. You manage to duck out of the way, and these manacles just like fly overhead, smash in the wall, and then just disintegrate. Neat. Large fries, yeah. chocolate shake. Okay. Giant snake. Right. Kai. I will grab a very small bottle from somewhere behind the shield, and it will say something. The pirate might leave the ocean, but the ocean never leaves the pirates. As he casts a tidal wave Woo! right oh, on top. Last wish uses oh. surf! <laughs> <laughs> uh, could I get a. That's too accurate. Dex. Saved. 
Area side. within yep. range. Area can yeah, be decide, yeah, you, you decide how big the area has. is. That's awesome. Yeah. Holy fuck. So I just just above him, so I hit no one else, and then some water. What's the save? Deck save? Deck save. Ooh, Eleven. I like the way um, you do all these deck saves. Oh, there's a cat in my room. I'm gonna gonna count some damage. Hello. Yeah. So you just conjure up this this just tidal wave of water that just. <laughs> crashes into the construct and just yeah you can hear some like some like sparking and some like crackles of lightning kind of that is 22 bludgeoning damage Ooh. and it is not prone uh it is not prone you see yep if it is successful save then it wouldn't be not prone but if he's failed he okay Ooh. falls over all right, so he goes. We he falls prone. I hate that it does okay. this because, like, this the base is where he uh, is, but I hate that it like looks like he's closer. <laughs> That's weird. That's interesting. Um, all right, as he falls prone, you can like the faceplate of the helmet like kind of like breaks off and 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 falls to the floor as well, and you can hear this very like muffled voice coming from inside. <gasps> Moment of truth. <laughs> yep. Order. Ethan called it. <laughs> Okay. Um, nearly an hour, girl. Could I, as a bonus action, whip my shield out and walk straight in front of Halfhorn? So to here? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's gonna be it for me. Ready. Davian. <sighs> He's prone. Correct. That makes things quite awkward, doesn't it? That gives you disadvantage on your uh, your range attacks. That is true. Um, fire doesn't do anything. Is that what we've come to understand? The previous constructs you the faced. The previous yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, how? Come on. How different could he be? Uh, what's your intelligence? Oh, <laughs> fourteen plus two. We'll say that. Based that on the fact that this construct is made by the same guy that made the other ones, and the I don't other want to cook ones, the dude inside it anyway. Actually, the now you mentioned it, I don't want to were fireproof. It. You can deduce that this one is probably also fireproof. I'll give you that. So, mm, being prone gives you disadvantage on saving throws. Is that right? On dexterity, yeah. Just dexterity? Yeah, and it means so uh, attacks dexterity. against you get advantage. And melee. Melee attacks yeah, so get so advantage. Good. Range yeah, attacks yeah. get disadvantage. Yeah. Disadvantage on dex. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna... Wait, no, can I... no, prone. Creatures disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against creatures advantage if the, if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Otherwise, the attack roll is disadvantage. So... That's how its rules is written. It doesn't say anything about disadvantage on saving throws. That must be paralyzed or something. Uh, I think it's incapacitated. Yeah, so prone, Maybe he just has disadvantage on attack rolls and attacks against it from a melee pers uh, point of view. Have advantage. And disadvantage on, on anything outside of five feet. Good enough. Oh, you could get in melee with him and shoot him on the ground for yeah, a Yeah, restrained is disadvantage on... Yeah, but don't you still okay. do that um... regardless? Give you disadvantage if you are in melee yeah, with someone. You get attack. Yeah, so it'd be a straight roll because they cancel each other out. That's what I said. No, because it still would be a melee attack. No, uh, well, it doesn't specify melee. An so attack if the roll attack against is... the creature has advantage if the attack yeah. is within. So five I guess feet. you could cancel uh, it out. That's stupid. But yeah, yeah was... you just walk um, above him. And I mean, I, I, I have, a, I have a dagger and a short sword, but mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't announce that I have them out or anything. But uh, you know, doesn't matter. so what's the ruling on that? You can whip them out. Whip it out. Yeah, I can just yeah. fucking whip him out. Yeah. Let's put him away. Take actions. And double attack? Uh, do you have two weapon fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you have one in the main hand, one in the off hand, yeah. The... Actually, wait. I'm, I'm not going to do that, though. Oh. This turn. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. I know, I'm going to move into melee. Whee! I'm going to use my. Ah! I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Um, quickly, uh, making my life a little easier. Thing. Uh, and then I'm going to attack him with my plus one dagger. Go for it. With advantage. I'll do you one better and bro for it. Bro for it, bro. <sighs> bro. 
Bro. Oh, bro. Uh, 16 plus 7. It's 23 to hit. That hits. Uh, 1d4 plus 4 plus 6 because that hunts as well. So that's uh, five, nine points of piercing damage. Okay, dokie. My dagger. Um, and oh. Onu is going to move into melee and take the dodge action because I can't command him to attack. So I'll just like beside you, like here? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Second turn? I'm assuming so. Yes. Brooks. Oh. I'm not sure <clears throat> if I turn. Hang on. Uh, Kai, uh, Oshi, you get, uh, nine, and Davin, you get ten. Temporary Ooh. hit point. Nine points of temp HP for Kai, nice. Ten for Davin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. So, nine. the first thing I would like to do on my turn, mm -hmm. I'm a fucking rage. Hell yeah. And uh, I'm just gonna walk over to this thing. And now, the faceplate partially came off and we heard a voice, right? Like a muffled voice, yeah. But yeah. Then, can I see someone behind the faceplate? Like, are they in the head section? or Because uh, this thing's no. 15 foot tall. The thing is 15 foot tall. The face, the, like, their yeah, head is empty. It. You can see, like, oh. parts, but no person, no face, no head behind it. What size is this thing? Uh, 15 foot Probably tall. Large. So that makes it huge, I think. Hold on. Do, 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 do. If it occupies a 10 by 10, then yeah. it's a, a large. Okay. It's if large. it occupies a 15 by 15. Okay. No, it's 10 by 10, so large. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to fucking grapple it while it's on the floor. <laughs> okay. Good job. Uh, so athletics or acrobatics, please. Mr. Picture DM. Brooks wrapping around one of its legs and just holding onto its legs like when kids try and stop adults from walking or getting yeah. up. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I've won this. Uh, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I've, mm, are you? Yes. We'll find out. Natural 20. What did. You, okay. Oh. It's for a total of. Oh, well, we'll see. But wait. Critical success is a critical success. Wait. I'm going to no, no, use no, my no, reaction. No, 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 no. Hold up. Wait for the outcome. Uh, but a bit of it, where's the stats? Where's the stats? 29. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm use my reaction. I have advantage. I rolled a 3 and a 20. My mm -hmm. total is 30. also a nat 20. Oh. Total is okay. 30. He's a 30. I 30. 10 because of my expertise. Yeah, but like, but they're both nat 20s because uh, right. his both was also I'm a gonna 20s. use my reaction. Yeah. Yeah. To cast Silvery Barbs. Okay. Oh! So he needs to re-roll. I mean, both not 20s. I should win because I got more. But... That No, we've never done that. We've never it's had fine. to beat in 20s. It's fine. I'm happy to do this. It gives someone advantage. Yeah. So they just but it doesn't matter anyway because Jack's the Silvery Barb and he has to re-roll. Now yeah. you win anyway. Woo. Okay, cool. It's, uh, it's grappled and it's prone. Already. Yes. So... It can't move. It can't get up without breaking up. the grapple. Yeah. Nice. Well, could argue that when he decides to get up, he just takes you with him, and you'll just be on his short, like on his shoulders or his something. His movement is zero. He's got movement speeds half a zero because he's exist. grappled. Right. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. So that's my turn. Okay. Whale on this motherfucker, boys. Uh, you have nine temp <laughs> HP. Right, Kess. I'm actually about to fall, guys. I can feel oh, it. Um, who wants advantage? Uh, Kess, you have advantage on your next attack roll, saving throw, whatever. Oh, sick. I'm going to move Hex onto the thing, because I still have that. Uh, and then I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at it. Uh, you'll have disadvantage on your Eldritch Blasts. Yes. The first one's fine. The second one, yeah. So the first one is uh, dirty, no, not dirty, 20, 22. Hits. And then the second one 
is uh it doesn't i mean it doesn't hit it's a 13. yeah no it doesn't hit so one of mids though yeah and you hexed it as well so seven plus four so 11 force damage plus three thunder plus can you just give me one number It'd be great <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> Really. No, fuck it. If it's not fire, you can just give it all in one go. That'd be great. <laughs> cool. Uh huh. And that's it. Wait. Okay. So the whole number? Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, 14, 18. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Beautiful. Alrighty. Uh, is that your turn? Okay. You get eight ten HP. Oh, Jax. Yep. All right. Fuck. Back. I feel like Sweet. I don't have to Back. do what I was gonna do. All right. Um. um I yeah, I think I'm just gonna run up to it and beat the shit out of it with my gauntlets, honestly. Yep. You know. So. Uh, I love that this token has like a little frying pan, dude. I know, dude. <laughs> Just Jack's walking out with his little frying pan out. But hopefully so the first we'll all have custom tokens, so that'd be cool. You know, because now the Hero Force Fucking stuff works, so like, man. it's definitely something I literally rolled two 14s, bro. Hey, Koiba, you gotta stop, bro. What? He, I am literally have Koiba vibes right now. I've been rolling advantage. I can roll like the same, the number, same twice, number over and over again. Four, uh, 14 plus 8, so 22 to hit. 22 hits? Yeah, but it's a number of a 10, yeah. so it can't be me. That's fair. Um, nine points of thunder damage. Nine points of thunder damage. All right. And then for the second hit, that is a twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four hits, yes. And that's thirteen points of thunder damage. Thirteen points of thunder damage. All righty. Um, yeah, that's it for me. At this point, yeah. the chest plate kind of like cracks and 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 like opens up to reveal well not the entire chest plate but like a part of it cracks and you see can, can see inside of its torso now and you can see that like down by the lower stomach a trapped high elf and he will shout keep going keep going don't fucking stop before, <laughs> it, takes <laughs> before it takes his turn dutch yeah I just, i'm stuck can i just double check bell's second attack with disadvantage still hit right no that missed Oh, no. it should have been a straight roll. I apologize. Why? Um, oh. Because when a creature is uh, grappled, uh... Uh, no, never mind. I'm stupid. Ignore me. I was reading the wrong I was thing. Say you're fine. But... Okay. Uh... <laughs> we haven't done combat for a while. Okay. Blue Sentinel construct. It's within I love you, of me, right? Every uh, time grappling comes into the question, right? it's so annoying. Uh, yes, he is within 10 feet of you, yes. And I would, because before he starts his turn, I'd like to use my reaction mm -hmm. and do the little, the, the little spore, the, the little coral, moves out some spores. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. Would like a con saving throw. Con save. Uh, 10. Oh, that's good. It takes. Three necrotic damage. Three necrotic damage? Yep. Okie dokie. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh god, it's finally its turn! Yes. Oh god. It rolls as bad as I do on initiative. And it is just going to multi-attack. Like, it is prone, and it's kind of Lail okay with it. Lail from the ground. It Literally. has... Three people... No, two people in his melee. Three. Three. Yeah. And a dog. And a dog. And <laughs> a dog. <laughs> Go for the dog. Um, uh, it's not going to go for the dog. It's smart enough to know that the dog is not a threat here, but... Um, not the biggest oh, one. Oh, one grappling it. Oh, well, oh. okay. Let me rephrase. It is smart enough to know to go for... It's been programmed to go for people. Um, Sorry. So it's going to attack both... Well, it gets three attacks, so it's just going to do one each. Fuck it. Uh, so his first great sword swing is going to go towards Jax with his advantage because of the bullshit that's going on. I hate grapple. Oh, amazed if it's me. I am the bullshit. Hey man, you're gonna get killed off. You remember I'm what happened to you from Ash? Uh, well, this advantage doesn't really matter if I roll a 17 and a 16. So, um, yeah. 
So uh, 24 to hit, Jax. Yep, that hits. I have a 20 AC. Oh, Lazarin, what was my temp HP? Oh, I did wrong. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Uh, it is eight. Uh... I felt like it's about to go, though. <laughs> you take 20 points of slashing damage, Jax? Cool. <laughs> cool. That's disgusting. Nah, it's fine, dude. Not even hurt. Not even hurt. Uh, it's gonna... Not even hurt, bro. Second great sword attack, um... Davian. Oh my goodness. Uh, 15 to hit with his advantage? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. I feel like I'm rodeoing this thing's neck. Uh, <laughs> 17 points of slashing damage, Davian. 17. 17, yes. Okay. Um, and it is then his like kneecap opens up once more and. This is a ranged thing, so... Kess! No, Aww. not Kess. Uh, <laughs> Lazarin... Fuck off, Yay! What am I doing? Dex Imagine again. getting attacked in combat. I know, right? Couldn't be me. What was that? Dex save, was it? Dex save, but... yes. Okay. I, was giving, I was giving Ethan a look. For what? I think a cocky prick! <laughs> I haven't been attacked for like the past three fights. I don't think a six is gonna do it, is it really? No, so these <laughs> these like manacles shoot at you and they just hit you and magic like magically they just your arms and legs are uh bound together. You are considered uh, incapacitated. Cool. Nice. Which means that you can't take actions or take reactions. Actions or reactions, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. <gasps> Can't use my spiritual weapon, kind of fucked. I'm sorry, I fucked up, boys. Yeah? Yeah, because I could have used the silver barbs again. I want the attacks to get And that is going to be its turn. Oh, and that was a deck save for me. Wathorn. You would have had. Blah, blah, blah. As you build. Well. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, How dare you. Hawthorne, please. <laughs> Could he go inside it? How big is Hawthorne? We're gonna have an Ant-Man situation. <laughs> how, how, big the boys? Is, how big is Hawthorne? Uh, Hawthorne is... He's small, right? Uh, he's small. I don't know how small. How small No, like, size small. He's not tiny. I'm pretty, just... sure he, I'm pretty sure he is size small. More. That's what I mean, though. He's like... Yeah, so this is more appropriate for him than actually this, like, size. <gasps> yeah. Um, he's, he's he can probably crazy. squeeze in through like the like, like yeah he can probably just like squeeze in through the faceplate and and get his way down there yeah, if he wants to. Cool, he's gonna do that and uh, I want him to tell me how the guy inside is if he's doing okay <laughs> and he's not hurt. Uh, Hawthorne sees and will describe to you, uh, Kess. Okay. Um, um, uh, he's kind of sitting in a chair of some sorts and there's a bunch of glowing things and he's, he's trying to mash him but uh it doesn't really seem like it's doing much button mashing for the yeah, okay that's all right as long as he's not hurt and that's his turn okay that's all he's gonna do parrot parrot time can he, can he get between some of this 40 60 feet but 60 feet can i get between diagon and the the magical weapon you can go wherever the fuck you want to go. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, you can go which side? This side or this side? Uh, that side where you are right now. <laughs> and it will uh, help Diagon on the next attack. All right, there you go. It has to be next to the creature that's helping attack. Oh, fuck bullshit. Okay, we will put it also, between Also, we already have advantage because he's prone, but... That is also true. Did you put it in the square the bird that's in do front something. of me? Mm -hmm. right, if, the, if the bird's in the square in front of me, he could technically be like on the air so I could still reach forward and spear without hitting the bird, but then the bird could be sure. flying above like the thing's head, like distracting it or something. That's how yeah, it's sure. uh, I will do that. So at Fuck least it. the bird does something. Otherwise, it's just sitting Yeah, there. I mean, that's that's familiar. Birds being legs it's familiar in a nutshell. They're not really meant to do that much uh, in combat, yeah. at least. Uh, all right. Daigon. Um, with bird distraction, and now that we know the guy's inside, I'm gonna continue to 
poke at the armor with my spear, but I'm trying to do it enough to like crack and almost like hit it and almost like prying pieces off. I'm making sure to not go through and like okay. penetrate the, the guy inside because that would be unfortunate. And do I get advantage from his prone yes, and, and the bird? All the advantage. Yeah, technically, because you're not within five feet of him, you wouldn't have had advantage, but thanks to the bird, you do. Oh, but now the bird! The bird So the bird does advantage. do things. The go. bird is helpful. Hey! All right. Go First bird, attack. Ooh, that's an 18. Nope. 18 just misses. Second attack. Not with advantage. 19! Not with advantage, though, the second one. <gasps> okay, I gotta reroll it then. Wait! What? This might not be with advantage. It would cancel out the disadvantage of her being outside of five feet. Because it's not a ranged attack, it's... Yeah. The, the attack has disadvantage five foot... outside of five feet. Mm -hmm. So, prone because prone Dagon's outside five of five feet... Advantage, and yeah. then everything else is normal. Prone is five foot advantage, everything outside of five foot is disadvantage. True. So yeah, no, you're right. So just roll them again. Both of them are just straight rolls. So just straight rolls? Yeah. Okay. Or you could move yeah, you could move it to melee. Like nah. you can move within five feet. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'm already injured and it probably hits hard. All right. Well that means wait, uh, wait, wait, okay, now to be another stickler, can it help with both attacks or just one? Just one. Okay. Yeah, so one your first attack is normal roll, the second one is advantage. Do we have any homework? <laughs> Let's give us homework. Okay. So the first Let's attack the first attack is a twenty five. Hits. Hit. <laughs> and the second oh, second tangent. one will be a straight roll. Mm, nope, second no, one's a natural second one. Second disadvantage. Okay. That so the first one, first one should have been a straight roll. Yeah. Second yeah. was disadvantage. So, yeah. Sorry. First one is eight points of piercing damage. Okay. She says question. Yes, eight. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action. Flurry of Blows, because my Spectral Arms have a 10-foot reach, so I can still do Flurry of Blows yeah, with the Spectral be, uh, Arms. Yeah, they'll all be at disadvantage, though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and again, the arms are not even so much punching as they're trying to, like, pull and, like, claw away pieces of the armor. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's what the arms are trying to do. <clears throat> so they're at disadvantage. The yes. first one... Oh, one was a natural 18, and then a 4, plus, uh, 7, 11... Nope. For the first one. And second one. Oh, there we go. Second one is a dirty 20. That hits. For seven points of force damage, because it's the spectral arm. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yes. Beautiful. I get you get eight. Thank beautiful. you. Um, Elazrin. Hello. As part of the fact that you're kind of like being incapacitated by these magical manacles. Yeah. That's a good word. Magical manacle. Magical manacle. Um, mm, mm, okay, can attempt a strength save <laughs> at the end of their turn to try and break free. Oh, a strength save? Yes. Oh, wow, I, mean, I win these. There's other ways, but this is the one that you can try. So 15 oh. minus 1. It's 14. Oh. 15 to save. I'm going to kill myself. 15 to DC. Damn. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die. So uh, that's going to be your turn, but I'm sorry. Oh, you can't see her. Uh, she he just, he just sees the last one. Just his eyes start welling up a little bit because he's like, really? <laughs> like, not like this. <laughs> just like, like this. just like, arms like bound this. behind his back, legs, legs, bound, legs bound together. And he just stands there like, <laughs> Like, are you about to have another nosebleed? <laughs> yeah. No, no one's hugging me yet. Um. All right, Kai. I can change that. Yet. Um. I would like to walk. Uh. Right next to Lazarin, so we're also right next to Jax. The little empty spot. That's so like behind Jax, next to Lazarin. No, one further. Here. There. Oh, yeah. My temp HP change. Oh, it does. Uh, and we'll just just like walk past Lazarin. But you later, matey. And I will grab my scimitar. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, just hold my hand above it, and the little crackling of electri electricity comes out of the hand, and the uh, entire full-on black scimitar just crackles with lightning as I strike it down on this man. Uh, you'll technically with, uh, have to like go here, because like no, even I'll, though his legs I'll are here, this is where he's actually this uh, is where his base okay. is at. I will get that. Then. 
But like, I don't know why when going prone, yeah. this is what it does. But like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if I can still get that, that's what I will do. So booming, basically yeah. hitting with weapon and adding <laughs> booming blade to it. Woo! With a um, oh. Wow. So within five feet, so I have advantage, right? Question mark. Yes, yeah. you do. I remembered something. Look me. Whoa. That's that's not good. That's a whole lot better. Uh, what do I add to? Also, that is a twenty-two. That hits. This hits. That is. Uh, so, what does the weapon is... look like? Sorry, it's, you say a uh, black scimitar? Yeah, full full on black. Like, that's fucking epic. The the sharp part is is black. The handle is black. The wrapping around it is black. It's full on black. Fuck yeah. Uh, so that is uh four slashing damage. Okay. Nice. Plus, because I need to roll something else. I can't find it. I think it's just a few moves. No, it is one. Hold. Holding. Holding. Hold up. On a hit, the target suffers the weapon, takes normal effects, and then becomes sheeted in booming energy until the start of my next turn. Mm -hmm. If it moves five feet or more, then it will take. Yeah, so it's when it moves, willing damage go. increase. Yeah, so it doesn't take any damage from Booming Blade now, but if it if it somehow gets no, up and starts moving around, that's when he takes damage no, from Booming Blade. It's weird because D and D Beyond says it is uh, cast. It is one D eight, and when it moves, it is another two D eight. That's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah, D and Beyond I'll, I'll is confused. wrong. Okay. Well, good. Wouldn't be the first time. Good to know. Yeah. Oh, if it ever decides to stand up and walk, it does boom boom. Wait, wait, wait. At, at fifth level, the melee attack does an extra one d eight thunder damage. Then oh no, you're right. Yeah, the, the higher yeah. level, yeah. fifth level, the melee attack yeah. deals an extra. So yeah, the one d eight. Yeah, one d eight. Yeah, so that's so, 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 one d eight. Okay. It's right on one. one. Yeah, so it does one d eight plus. Yeah, your... I normally. Yeah, normally and then if it moves, that's, it I didn't read that because normally that's the part where it's like, oh, and fifth level, your cantrip does more damage now. You know, like because yeah. the other side goes basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You cast the cantrip. As part of the cantrip, you make an attack. You do the attack's normal roll. Yeah. If it hits, you do that damage, and then you do an extra d8. Yeah. All right. So it it takes a whopping three extra damage. Hey, it's you yeah. know that might be the it's difference. Something. It's exactly. something. And if it decides to move at some point, it does more boom boom. Hell yeah! Say turn. Get the big boom boom. Um. I get my reaction back at the end of my turn, right? I believe yes. so. Yeah, okay, then that's my turn. Right. Davian. Uh, your temp HP is 7. If you've already got more than that, then don't worry. Yeah, no, I've got more than that. Okay, cool. I'm chilling. There you go. Davian. Okay. He, could, he could technically get an opportunity attack here, right? If he yeah, moves. I believe so, because like, yeah, his reactions aren't him. being impeded, no? No. Yeah. He will make it with disadvantage. Yeah, but... disadvantage. But he still gets it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Onu is going to run back 20 feet. Okay, well, he is going to take an attack from Tunity on Onu then, in that case. Or does that not happen because of the part of the attack that Onu does? Or does it not move? No, he can. Okay. But, you know, that's I mean, only from they want to use your reaction to just hit the dog? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's just going to see something move and he just goes, yeah, you know? Um, a 19 to hit. Yeah. Oh, he's about yeah. to kill Onu, bro. He's not about to kill Onu, right? About to kill Onu, bro. I don't know, man. Gonna turn the painted dog into a painted kebab. 13 <laughs> points of slashing damage. Okay. Okay. So Onu's uh, running... And then, and then running forward 20 feet to the <laughs> Alright. With, uh, with advantage. Uh-huh. Uh, which is a natural 19. That'll hit. Yeah. So he deals. Doo -doo -doo. He doesn't get. He doesn't get that thing that I do, but he does get the bonus d6, I guess. So d8. He doesn't get that thing that I do. Wait, I just rolled a d20 and a d6. Sorry, hold on. 
three plus three plus two. So eight points of damage. Okay. Slashing damage. And... Yeah, I feel kind of bad about that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, For once. Yeah, I am going to stab him now. Go for it. Actually, wait. Hold. I'm within five feet. I'm a double Eldritch Blast his ass. Fuck. Just, just straight roll. Yeah, I guess. Wait. Oh, I hate this shit. No, no, no. It, it, it It's within five feet, so it's with advantage. Yeah, That's Eldritch Blast is a ranged attack, which would have disadvantage. It doesn't matter. Within five feet. Oh, is it's that? No, no, no. So... Is that a separate ruling for ranged attacks, though, yeah. or is that... Yeah, that's just for ranged oh, yeah. attacks. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Ranged attacks. Yeah, no. When ranged attacks are used yeah, within right. melee, it just has to be a straight roll. Oh, no, you're also... Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, no, never mind. I'm not gonna... No, I have Hunter's Mark on him anyway, which I can't use for Eldritch Blast. I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna stab him with my dagger. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is a natural 18 plus 7. That'll hit. 1d4 plus 1d6. Oh, max damage. 14 points of piercing. Whoop! Ah, with my dagger. 14? Fuck yeah. Yeah. How do you want to destroy him? I'm going to just be fucking like... Like busting him open, dude. Cutting the man out. Hacking fire wires or whatever. Just until I've freed this poor man within. Alrighty. Because he hit my fucking dog. He did hit your dog. He hit my dog. <laughs> John Wick. Alrighty. Let's uh, swap scenes and hope the fuck that the cameras aren't broken. Oh, see, now I swap scenes and the cameras don't break, so, like, really, just no reason to break Rage. earlier, Discord oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. OBS. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Locked so, up, yeah. As this thing dies, can I just pull his head off? Yeah, I mean, the faceplate already, like, fucking fell to the floor, but yeah, you can just, like, the Dude. empty helmet just... <sighs> um, imagine. This, like, you, you just start fucking tearing it up and opening up the chest plate further now to reveal that, like, in the lower stomach area of this construct, there's a high elf sitting in a chair, wearing a black buttoned-up shirt, black trousers, uh, jet black hair tied in a knot, and, uh, and, and, and and green eyes. It kind of crawls out, dusts himself off. Thank you so much for the help. I um, don't know exactly what went wrong, but... Um, so I was tinkering on the control panel of this thing, and it's short-circuited, and... Kind of sent out some kind of energy that just made everything go to shit, really. And I got stuck in there, couldn't control it or override the controls. I, I, I'm hungry. How long have I been in here? 15 days. That explains why I feel very... Faint. All right. I I signed the cast. Money to stretch How a little bit. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Davian. No, no. Um, that was all I had to say. You might want to do a little bit of stretching. Oh, I, was, I just signed the cast. <laughs> He's been in there for fifteen days. How come he hasn't pissed himself? I mean, you look to see him. You can smell. It's it. gonna be obvious if there's fifteen <laughs> days worth of hell, excrement hell, like, that would come out of that. Like, looking toilet. into the like toilet. cavity. Uh, there's definitely piss in the in in like the the, the cavity that he was in. Um, what about the poo poo? Is the poo in there as well? Listen, man, if you He's magic. Eat, Maybe if you can don't teleport eat, you don't it away. Shit. If you don't eat, you don't got a shit. Uh, I, I would like to actually, try. That's not entirely room. true. But... Shut up. I, just, I, I look would, like, in the thing and just go. I take it back. Take so he'll like he'll like kind of like move towards his bed at the far end of the room. He just kind of sits down, just like. Um, so can I try and take off the manacles again? No shit. Oh, you're yeah. still fucking. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm still tied up. Can I try and. Uh... Can I just go and, like. Oh my god, I rolled a 16. There you go. So <laughs> I just, like, break free and. I'm you're, just like. You're free again. <laughs> oh my god. Um... So, your. Uh, all your contraptions, apart from the one in the basement, have gone a bit. Oh. Do lally. My and tag unit, is they... he okay? Is he. Was he not affected? Tag number five is alright. Beautiful. Oh, that is... Everything else wants to kill you. Also, we changed your password or something. Yeah, we changed oh, yeah. the, pass the password. Your password, your password is fiddlesticks. Apple. Fiddlesticks. All right, so oh, I'll just remember that. Um, um, there is a way 
from now that I'm out of that thing, I can... And he, like, kind of stumbles to his, like, office space, his office area. And, um... There's like this panel in the wall, and he just starts fucking shuffle, like pushing tiles and, and doing shit. And you hear just, uh, just a voice echo through the tower that just goes, um, Alarm deactivated. Manual override granted. And he'll just. Alright, that should take care of that. Um, who are you, Jackley? The three sisters. Diplomats sent. To help you. Well, I too no, really appreciate the help. Um, I'm just I... trying to make it work, right? <laughs> Thank you. I, I owe you my life. Um, name's Halivara, but I'm sure you, you, you've been told or else you wouldn't be here. Um, I'm going to offer him some water while he's talking. Just hold out my water skin. He'll take it and just like, he, he starts fucking, like not realizing how thirsty he is. He just starts fucking... Yeah. Chugging it and, and just oh god, just, um, I um, how many things did you destroy? Um, just about everything. Yeah. Great, that is Five, great. Four. Well, we didn't destroy the door. We only we, we destroyed three fine. things oh, downstairs, three and this thing. And this, you yeah, still just got the one three the dudes. Door. Wait, yeah, where's the four, I'm this thing? I'm this one. I, I do have a question. Where's number four? Number four? Well, because you have five of the little uh, tower guardians. Um. We well, killed, we killed three. This is one in the no, 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 no. Those were separate things. Um, that tower guardian is is, is unit number five because it's my it's the fifth generation of its creation. The previous four have been scrapped for parts, really. I see. This is just the fifth version of him um, that I've made. Constantly improving on myself. Um, right. Uh, before we do anything, uh, I do feel like a reward is in order. So, and he like opens up one of the drawers of his desk and just this fucking big coin purse, by the way. Mm -hmm. And it just like comes out and he hands each of you 10 platinum. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you so much for, for saving my life. Um, I, I feel a bit faint and... Um, well, uh, I'm so, I suppose the, the, the sister sent, sent you, right? Uh, wondering what happened to their... Well, their next delivery is going to be a bit delayed because... Uh, if... Yeah, I mean, they seemed actually more worried than just a, a business thing, so... Yes, we, um, you know, if, 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 if we go way back, as, 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 as the youth says. Um... As the youth says, I will. Um, I will. I will help you get back to to their shop. Uh, but after that, I need. I need food. I need drink, and I need sleep. I mean, but um, do you want to take a minute before you do that, and we'll just? Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll rest when I'm dead. I'll take a quick, quick, quick thirty-minute power nap, and I'll, I'll be good to go. Right as rain. Sure. <laughs> I take back what he's what I said about work life balance. Is he an he's a is he an elf <laughs> or a half elf? Uh, uh high he's elf. high elf. He's a high elf. He doesn't even need to sleep though. I was going to say cause just because he has a living room doesn't mean he uses it. He uses my living room Probably. a lot, actually. Thank you. I, uh, yeah, where else do you think he lives? Well, I, you know, I, I, I really enjoy it mean any sitting, offense by it? sitting down on my couch, which is probably... Oh, everything is destroyed, by the way, all your phones. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess. It you is. Probably... Well, I used well, to if enjoy you want to sitting down all. on my couch by the fireplace, read a good book, have a, have a nice glass of brandy. It... It's great. Good, good times. Oh, if you want to redecorate, this. now yeah, is the exactly. time. It... This is the perfect yeah. opportunity to redo everything. And... Rebrand, redecorate. <laughs> Maybe make less things automated in case this goes wrong, like... But that's my whole deal! You know. That's what I do! Okay, but if we hadn't been able to get past that door to rescue you... But you did. Uh, maybe you should keep your suits of armor more like mine. Yours. Le yeah, less sentience would be... Oh, I'll, uh, put... I'll, 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 like, use my action to 
make my suit go away. Unicraft as well, I see. Uh, devil. Very good, very good. It's, um, it's a craft not really practiced uh, as much as I would like it to be. It's always good to see a fellow inventor, fellow, fellow craftsman. I do love the idea of um, putting a person inside the suit of armor. Right, this is a commission. I was, I was, I was. Uh, the Blue Sentinels, they they needed large constructs to, to you know, in case of war or, or battle. Um, mm. The person inside, as you saw, you completely ruined that thing. I am completely fine. So the person inside is protected, controls it, and it's way stronger than any man or woman could be. It's 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 bigger and. It... Big to do. Well, it's, it's only a prototype, but it, the goal is. But as you can see, the person inside, well protected, gives them a chance to, you know, escape or something. Because they could survive for two weeks in there. Right. Uh, well, that's partially because I had some supplies, uh, you know, in my on my in my satchel that I have. Um, so, and paste it in there. You can go for a good two weeks. That's true. I, mean, I made it out. Um, right. I was a rain. I am a ranger. I've never even known um, anything that gross. So, if I may. Yes. Maybe if you line um, the core of each sentient object with maybe lead, it might stop uh, viruses from spreading to each. Yes, I suppose that is something. That's a small oversight. Uh, it's a good idea. I'm just, I'm just glad. I'm just glad Tag is all right because he is by far my most prized creation. Um, he's sort of a housekeeper, I guess. Very useful. Helps me with a lot of things. Um, so I'm glad he's all right. Uh, the rest of these things. He was cute. I liked him. Tag is tag, tag is great. Maybe you could so teach him cute. how to contact people in case of an emergency. See, hindsight truly is a great thing. I I think you're absolutely correct. I should probably give him some kind of communicative function to to to, to at least. Get some communication Stress towards the three sisters going, so that in case of emergency, you can... It's a good idea. See, everything is a learning experience. Things could have gone worse. My house is in ruins and all my creations are destroyed, but at least I am can improve. Let's, uh... Let's give you some space, I guess, and get out of your hair. Appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. Uh, you, uh, what's, your, what's your name, uh, Mr. Fellow, fellow inventor of mine? Uh, Jax. Jax. Um, I have something that I think you would like. Ooh. Ooh. And just, just follow me down to my, to my, to my workshop. All right. I'll go down the stairs to, to the floor. Oh no, actually, this is, this is, this is teleport. So he like, you know, steps in a circle. Boop. You know, that thing. Um, goes to his workshop area. Does the password work for him? Yeah, yeah, he says yeah, okay. fiddlesticks, and it does work, yeah. Oh, sticks. Um, and he will go to one of his workbenches and uh, get a tiny little key from his pockets and, and use it on one of the drawers and, and opens it up and presents you with a device that um, reminds you a lot of, of like, Tinker's tools, but they're, they're way more advanced. They're like the Swiss Army knife of Tinker Souls. Like anything you would ever fucking need is there. Um, these are these are. I, I have a spare set of these, so it's fine. But these are these are the tools I use for my more intricate creations. Um, you'll find that you can do a lot more with these than you can with with your average tool set. Uh, given that you are a bit of a tinkerer yourself, I figured you'd appreciate these. And uh, he hands you them. And they basically give you, whenever you have a, a check with your Tinker Souls, you get an extra plus two bonus to it. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Damn. <clears throat> Add that real quick. All right, um, tell the sisters I'll be in touch with them uh, after I've rest and grabbed my bearings. I truly do appreciate it. Um, unless there's anything else you want to do or know, um, let's get you out of here. Beautiful, and no. he'll go downstairs, and the door kind of, uh, like, as Halifara walks past, he thinks master, and he just goes, oh, shut up, and just continues down. Oh. Uh, Bye, Dory. 
uh, continues down and, and takes to the basement and uh, Tag or, you know, uh, the Arcane Guardian walks up. Master, you're all right. And he goes, oh, Tag, my good friend. I'm so glad you're untouched. And oh, it's just a bit dreadful to have lost you as well. Um, I'm going to get these, these these fine people out of here and then we'll assess what's doing and re see what needs to be replaced. Um, and yeah, he uh, sets, you know, Hold hands in the, in the circle, and uh, you'll you'll be back at the three sisters before you know it. And cast incantations, and vision goes dark. Same like floating in the stars kind of experience, and boom, back in the chamber at the three sisters shop. Um, uh, oh, at this point, only like we'll say that like an hour has passed. Um, oh damn. Um, yeah, it's combat, man. Combat is only super short, and then, yeah, you know, you didn't it really... Is. True. It wasn't really that... It wasn't like you, you went into a big fucking 50 room castle. Seconds. Um, so... I'm fine. You see, um, Cheery oh is God. kind of like... You exit the room, and you see Cheery kind of like lounging on the sofa, and you... Oh, hello! Cheery! Good, uh, good morning, you're back. So, how did it go? Do you want the long version or the short version? Better dip it? Like, is the result the same? He made a thing, got trapped inside it, all the fucking robots went doolally. Oh no. We beat the shit out of some of them, we got him out, he sent us back. So he's okay? Yeah, he Otherwise says we wouldn't be, be back. Bit of, says there'll true. be a bit of a delay. That is fine, as long as he's alright. We have, we have plenty of, su of supply to go, it's just, it's just concerned for his safety more than anything. Um, but thank you so much, you've, you've done it, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, let me get your... Um, do a little write-up, um, uh, you know, for your sword credit, so that you have a, a p something tangible to prove that you that you have it. Uh, and I'll, uh, will you know, whenever you feel like you want to spend some money or spend some of that credits, you're always welcome. And she'll go to one of the like side rooms, comes back out, and kind of like I guess this is like the, the high fantasy version of like a voucher. It is just like a written note that is just. Um, you know, 500 gold uh, store credit, uh, and it's like it's signed. It's signed by Cheery, and she'll hand one to each of you. All right. Well, uh, let me get you downstairs, and then um, I, I thank you so much for 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 the help. We appreciate it. And whenever you feel like you want to spend some of that credit, we'll uh, we'll gladly uh, see to you uh, and fulfill those needs. We will Why? be back very oh, shortly, I'm sure. But first, let's go get something to eat. Mm. All right. And with that, you guys uh, leave the three sisters behind. Uh, you going back to the Red Fleet to just get some food? What are you doing? Yeah, why well, uh, not? Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, we're dipping out because there's no point starting shopping now because it's late. Yeah, exactly. In the day. So yeah. we'll say that yeah. you guys get some lunch at the Red Fleet. It's about noon now. And uh, we'll end it here, and we'll pick this up next week. Cool. Woo. As you have like about half a day of uh, time left Ooh. before the porcupine anchors in Strathmore. Pirate Ark is very much around the corner now, so it's exciting. Woo. Woo but you did it. You saved Halivara the Artificer uh, from his uh, big boy know, AI gone rogue. Got a big boy paycheck. And um, yeah, we'll pick it up next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, yeah. Beautiful shadow. Thanks again for being here, man. And uh, I'm oh, excited to have you uh, stick around uh, for uh, the next few as well. It'll be awesome. So, so we're next man. Man. we throw him off the ship next. But, yeah. <laughs> at some point, I will know my character. <laughs> and that's fine, dude. Don't worry about it, man. Don't don't fucking worry about Girl, it. Almost like we've been playing these characters for years, for a year nearly yes. now, and like still fucking absolutely make mistakes and shit. Absolutely. All right. Thanks everybody so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be dipping out of here. But uh, yeah, we'll be back. Oh, wait a second. Uh, tomorrow we'll do... Uh, actually, no. Fuck. I said we'd do Discord tomorrow. I can't because I have a dinner with a friend that I need to do. So there's no, there's no, or no divinity. divinity. No divinity tomorrow. Sorry. Okay, okay. Who are you having on Discord this week? We have on Discord... Um, the boy, because he's new. Yeah, but I kind of like, do I want to, because right now, not, not much has been revealed about him just yet. Yeah, so we're kinda, not really I wanna, into it yet. That's yeah, true. So I kind of yeah. want to yeah, save that. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. 
Soko, are you good on Thursday or are you working? Uh, I will not be this Thursday. Okay. Because I'm going to be settling in at the new apartment. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. But I should be you good are weeks there. after if we did it early. Okay. Uh, keep that in mind so that, then. Because I, I, um, I have to, yeah, I start working at like 2.30, so. That's fine. Uh, Laura? How are you on Thursday? I think so. Let me check. Do a little, do a little Laura Ethan or something? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm good on Thursday. Or a Laura Duke, whoever, whoever, or a Duke Ethan. Whatever, 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 whatever y'all wants. <laughs> uh... I, I don't I don't think I'm feeling it this week, to be fair. I will be oh, no, available. There yeah. is a small possibility we may have to delay start if work runs late, but... I'm free okay. the whole day, so it's fine. All right, cool. So we'll have Laura and Ethan then. Beautiful. Awesome. Woo. I'll go. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate it. We're going to be dipping out of here, but uh, catch y'all Thursday for Dungeon Discourse. Peace out, gamers. Hey. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bom bom bom. Gone. Bom bom bom. Bom bom bom. Do 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 dum. Now slowly like fade outs, just like. Bom bom.